Hello everybody, welcome back, good morning! Hopefully my PC doesn't decide to die again. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous now because we had uh, two disastrous um, PC stream crashes yesterday. Stream crashes <laughs> Oops, yesterday. sorry, I opened my own stream. I was gonna try and check the VOD quickly while I was talking about that. Yeah, we had a couple problems yesterday with the stream struggling, but <laughs> it's okay, everything's fine. <laughs> Everything is totally and completely fine. Hopefully we have no issues today. Uh, we're gonna play some House Slipper though, so it should be kind of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Today, today will be fine, it'll be fine, right? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, oh, cat cam, <laughs> no cat. <laughs> um, anyway, good morning, hello everybody. I hope you had a good day so far. I know for a lot of you it's early, so. Either way, good morning though. <laughs> uh, and also Peggy and Denise and Stray Feet, thank you all for the subs, I appreciate that. All right, game, are you gonna open? Wait for it, there we go, okay. <laughs> there we go, I was thinking that we would start a new house renovation today. It took us hours and hours to do the last one, but I thought we might start another one today. And maybe try and work on the exterior for a start. Because we didn't really do that last time. We didn't really touch the outside. I guess we could do our house. We could renovate our own home and like really fix it. <laughs> I, I wasn't really sure what we would all want to do, but we could do our house. I'm good with that. We might have to not do the downstairs first because <laughs> I'm still mad about how the... The thing didn't save my progress. This was like a month ago at this point, but I'm still mad at it. So we might have to uh, Not start with the downstairs. <laughs> It'll be kind of fun to like repaint everything though. I think right I'm kind of into it. Are there shutters? If I Yeah, I don't think so how come they have shutters on the outside? Like, how come they get to have those? You can change shutters on the window itself. Oh, I always forget about how many, like, details there are in this game. Hold on. Um, let me see if we can... Shutters. Oh! Wow. Okay. Those are paint. Then you can open them? <gasps> well, that's way cooler than I thought. I think I might have just seen a cat. But I also might have imagined it. It's hard to say. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about that. Okay, well that's good because we now we know how to do that, so we can fix it on the outside windows in a bit. Um, yeah, they're like real shutters. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I don't know if we can copy the exterior color of our own house. Yeah, we can copy that one. Yeah, we can copy the exterior colors of this house. We couldn't copy the exterior colors of the other house, but this one we could. Um, so I don't know why the other house was like that, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, it's fine, it's fine. Um, we're gonna work on our own house then today. Maybe I'll change the, um, stream title. To renovating our own house. Um, so it's more obvious on first glance. <laughs> Katie and, and Sinsu and Sudo, we got Claire and Rosie and Germana and Ember and Magical and Jade. Uh, we got Confused and Milky and Raven and Raz and Sigrid and Space and Michelle and Joy and Jen and Spicy Legos and Basketball. And we got Robot, uh, also Peggy and, and everybody. Thank you so much for all the subs, I appreciate that. Um, okay, so if you haven't seen this game before, um, I keep telling chat that like this is gonna change your life if you are a fan of The Sims, which I assume most of you are <laughs> if you're here. Um, if you specifically like building in The Sims, this is gonna be so cool for you. Like you are gonna be so excited about this. <laughs> um, and I'm excited for you to get to see it. Um, basically you, you renovate houses in this game, um, but it's like you actually do it. 
<laughs> you know, so you can walk around, you can paint, you clean the place, you can uh, like lay new walls down. Um, it's actually really cool. <laughs> so if you have not seen, I think you're gonna have fun. Um, Saroma, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, by the way. Oh my God, thank you so much. That is so generous. Um, and Emma, and Struck by Lightning, and we got Justice, and Zoe, and Alex, and Saint. Thank you for the subs and bits to everybody. Um, you're so bad at Sims building. It, I, I understand. It, Sims building can be hard at times. I will say that this is probably, depending on how you look at it, it could be easier or harder <laughs> than building in the Sims. Um, you don't have to play like sandboxy in this if you don't want to. You can just renovate existing houses. So for that reason, it might be a little bit easier than doing a Sims build. Um, Cause you can work with like the shell of a building that's already there and then like repaint it and stuff. Um, so that might be better for you, depending on what you like and don't like about the game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Miracle, Milana, and Ed, thank you for the subs and bits, everybody. Um, and you can vacuum leaves. So that's always fun. <laughs> Good stuff, right? Okay, maybe I will actually go through and just like start trying to clear out everything in our own house. I'm gonna delete a lot of the windows and stuff again. Um, I'm so mad. If you weren't here a little bit ago, a couple, I mean, at this point it was a couple weeks ago, we had some issues with uh, the game not saving our progress. <laughs> um, and so we uh, have to redo all of the downstairs again that we had already done. <laughs> So I'm a little bit frustrated by that, I would say. <laughs> but it's okay, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna get through it, it's gonna be totally fine. Oh wow, okay. I'm just gonna get rid of everything. We don't need any of this stuff. Um, is the game muted? No, it's kind of quiet though, I can turn it up. Um, can you hear it better now? Um, I probably am not gonna use those paint colors. I would say, um, I don't really have any desire to <laughs> have that in my house. Um, I think I'll redo the bathroom completely too. We'll just start it all over. I will redo everything in here. Okay. Um, well, at least selling this stuff is fun. <laughs> is this a house you bought? No, this is our house. The one that um, when you move in, it's like your parents' old house. That's where we're at right now. Um, used to belong to our parents. We have taken over. Um, so it's like our childhood home. And I'm clearing everything out. Um, yeah, Bella, you can change colors with the tool. I know, I know. Um, you can do a lot of cool stuff with the tool. Don't worry, I'm very familiar with this game, so we know how to play. <laughs> um, Okay, so we've got all that. This is my own bedroom. Which, oh, the ceiling is nice. I'm just gonna get rid of it all. Um, you're gonna marry Haley for your first playthrough in Stardew Valley. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I like Haley. I like it when she bullies me. So, <laughs> have fun. <laughs> Am I planning to sell this house? Um, no, I think I'll probably do this one for me. I'll update it, um, and, like, keep it as my home and office, I would say. I think is my plan. Oh my god. There's a banana in the trash can. <laughs> Did that say Florida? I think there was a postcard from Florida. Wait. I don't know if you can copy that. So they have postcards. <laughs> why are the other ones? Like why, how come you guys get cities and I just get Florida? No, nowhere specific. Just Florida. <laughs> no, no certain city. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fidelius, thank you for the 28 
months. Uh, and Lucas, and Demon, and Starburst, and Artsy, and Golden, and Ickle, and Milana, and Miracle, thank you for the subs. You, your sim couldn't access the roof in my factory house because of the wall shelf? What wall shelf? <laughs> I, I can't picture the problem. I didn't play test it yesterday, um, when I was building it on stream. Uh, I'm not gonna open the game and deal with that right now. I also, um, don't really, I mean, it's, it, I built it for fun, so, <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, you could just delete the wall shelf. I don't know which one you're talking about, but, um, if you're having trouble with it not being functional, just delete whatever shelf is causing the problem. Um, okay. Um, I think most of that stuff is all deleted then. Let me start smashing stuff. Goodbye. When will you do a Sims build? <laughs> Every day except today. <laughs> Yesterday, the rest of the weekend. <laughs> All the time um, is the answer to your question. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing at like the, uh, the silliness of... <laughs> the one day I don't play Sims, every time I don't play Sims on stream, the chat's like, why aren't you playing Sims? When are you gonna play Sims? It's like, <laughs> we're just talking about the build that I did yesterday. <laughs> so... Anyway, um, most days we play Sims, most days. Um, okay. Um, wow, okay. <laughs> this place is really quite something. <laughs> Anything needs to be deleted in here? No, not really, okay. I feel good about this now. It's clear. <laughs> um, have I seen the new DLC for House Flipper 1? There. They're making DLC for House Flipper 1? After House Flipper 2 came out? I had not seen that, no. I- They're- They're making DLCs for the first game? I didn't know that. Um... I had not seen it. So they aren't done yet? Oh cool! That's interesting! They've been doing a lot of like... Like, uh, sort of weird focuses in House Slipper 1. They added, like, all kinds of, like, the pet stuff and everything. <laughs> They've been adding a bunch of, um, kind of interesting things into there. Oh, I guess I don't need to clean the windows, because I am gonna delete them. But it's kind of fun to clean the windows. So maybe I'll do it anyway. <laughs> I was planning on, like, getting rid of them and starting over. Because the outside of them is quite dirty, I think. If I remember correctly. Not the outside of that one. Maybe they're okay. Maybe we don't need to delete them and we can just change the colors. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I find the cleaning in this game to be really fun and relaxing too. I like it. <laughs> Chris Angel, it's here three, 24 month resub. Thank you so much. Um Zebra wallpaper? Okay, people keep coming in and they think that it's my- my wallpaper. <laughs> this wallpaper- so this house in the game is like your childhood home. Um, and it's really fallen into a mess, <laughs> if you will. Um, so- so I'm not the one who put the zebra wallpaper. Uh, that's just there by default. Um, as you can see, it's like peeling off the walls and stuff. Uh, it's kind of a mess. But, um, yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now. <laughs> yeah, the- our parents had very interesting taste, it seems. Um, do you not- oh no, that's that light. Okay, that's fine. How about this one in here? Wow, horrible color with the red. So when I renovated this before, um, and then my game lost all my progress, <laughs> I had made this into a laundry room. And I put a little like teeny tiny half bath in this room. There's just like a toilet and a sink. Um, we made a really small one underneath the stairs and I kind of liked that. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then obviously upstairs, do I have? Okay. Um, 
I don't like that it's dark outside. It makes it very difficult for me to play this game. It's not my vibes. Um, this was our childhood bedroom, as we know. So maybe this could become my office or something. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> Gabby, colorless, thank you for the subs. Um, wow, dark. Okay, and then I guess this room could be another guest bedroom. We have a bathroom. This becomes our bedroom. And we have a closet, but I was thinking about making it into an ensuite bathroom. We don't really need to have an ensuite bathroom though, I guess, because it's just us. So, that's fine. I don't know. We'll see. Hi, Dad. Okay. Um, it seems very dark in here. Can change the settings to real time so it's not dark. Can you in this game? Displayed time, real time. Are you sure that it's gonna make it not dark? Did I save the settings just then? Yeah. Hmm. You could also sleep. Okay, people told me that before and then it didn't work. So I don't know if that's true. It'll be dark if it's morning. Yeah, I mean, it's 9 a.m. here. It is definitely not dark, <laughs> but um, I think that just letting it get brighter doesn't matter. We'll just let it be with the game time. Yeah, I don't think the sleeping thing actually makes a difference in this particular game. Oh, it's very dark in here. I deleted the light. Yeah, I don't think you can sleep in the second game. In the first one you could, but I don't think you can sleep in this game. Unfortunately. Okay, um, I guess we can just start... Maybe I just start painting then? Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about this floor. People are like, are you gonna keep this or are you gonna change it? Um, I don't really like the color of this wood. Um, so I was kind of planning on changing it, but... I don't know. I changed it before, before my game decided to not save, um, and, and ruin everything. <laughs> uh, but I don't really like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> if possible, just change the color. Well, you can cut pretty much any wood into that color, so I don't have to get, like, a different wood, but... Um, that's not really my vibes. So, I, I kind of would like to change it. <laughs> Um, I, I'm just gonna say this real quick. Um, House Flipper lends itself to a lot of backseating in a way that sometimes feels a bit more aggressive than when we play The Sims. Um, so please try not to yell at me <laughs> as we decorate today. The stakes are not high. It's just a little silly building game. Um, and it's just my house. Uh, it's it's like a house that we're making for me not to sell so it, you know we can doesn't really matter um, <laughs> um, And I'm I'm dealing with a lot of anxiety and stress today because my family's dog is having surgery <laughs> Literally as we speak, so I'm a bit more fragile than normal. <laughs> He's getting his his uh, toe amputated um, so <laughs> Ah, he's, um, yikes. So just please be gentle on this day. That's all I ask before we begin. <laughs> Let's not like allow ourselves to panic about wood floors, you know? It's not worth it. <laughs> we don't need to, we don't need to worry about it too much. Um, I kind of prefer like a lighter color wood floor. Um, but I don't know. I don't really know what I want it to look like. Um, that doesn't even have paneling cut into it, does it? Uh-oh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. Um, oh, let's do this. I think that's pretty. Yes? 
See, there you still get your fancy wood floors, but in a way that I prefer. Yeah, I used this floor, I think, in the last house that we did, but I'm not that worried about that. It's just a floor. So, it's because this is what I would pick in real life. <laughs> I am really doing that in a very chaotic way, aren't I? Sorry, everybody. I don't know what's gotten into me. I think that's pretty, though. I like it. This is what we did. Um, I used this floor, I'm fairly certain, when we did the house before it decided to not save my progress. <laughs> So I'm, I'm just restoring uh, what belongs here. <laughs> oh, yikes, I couldn't even see that before. Um, let's see, get that fixed. I think I might do tile in there because that's going to be the laundry room. But I'll fix the flooring on the staircase too. Oops, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, okay, so this will be my office, I think. Good vibes. Unicorn, Mooney, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. I should have just brought that upstairs with me. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Come here. Upstairs. The hands of the character are creeping you out. Oh, really? They are kind of weird. I mean, I can see that. Wow, that's just open? Huh. Yeah, the hands are kind of... <laughs> it is kind of weird. <laughs> okay. Um, get all that fixed, too. One day I'll have herringbone floors. Mark my words. You will. I, I believe it. I believe it. I think they're so nice. Okay. I have officially ruined our parents' old flooring and completely laid new stuff on top. <laughs> um, okay, that's good. So are we gonna make this a closet or a bathroom? I'm kinda, I think that I might, I don't know. I'll leave the floor not flooring for now. There is a light in here. Okay. Well, I'm just covering up the mess. <laughs> just just uh, laying some floor on top of all that, that's fine. I think a closet spice it up. Yeah, I think that'll be fun too. Cause we have a big bathroom right here, so we can do a closet in the other space to, like you say, spice it up. Um, I don't know. Okay, for the most part that's all fixed. We gotta change the color of the stairs later, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna finish vacuuming stuff while we are still here. Okay, guest bedroom. Yeah, we're gonna have a, an office and a guest bedroom in this house is my plan. I'm gonna make my own childhood bedroom into my office and then this one into a, oops, this one into a guest bedroom. If you are just tuning in, um, this house is literally my house. <laughs> it's like in game, it's like your family's childhood home. Um, your family's home, your childhood home. Um, and so it's kind of like where you are living. So I'm gonna decorate it for me is my plan. We don't really need to paint that because <laughs> we're gonna, um, or we don't need to clean it because we're gonna paint it, but we may as well. Okay, very cool. Now it's even darker down here. <laughs> so that's not so cool, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna do the wood beam thing as well on this. That's nice. It matches really well. Okay, cool. Wood support beam. Um, anything else needs to be done? Do I need to change the 
Hold on. Wait. Yeah, you can add and remove walls. You can destroy literally anything. <laughs> I don't think I want to change the floor plan in this house too much. The last house that we did, I, um, I really changed the floor plan. <laughs> and I don't really want to do that again here, I don't think, because it was a lot. Um... So I, I think I'm leaning towards not changing the floor plan too much in this house. Um, yeah, you can you can really update stuff however you'd like, which is kind of cool. Um, okay. That's nice. I also learned my lesson. I'm not gonna mess with the stairs too much. Um, I have learned from my uh, time here <laughs> that messing with the stair railing is a bad idea, okay? <laughs> Trust me when I say this, you don't want to do that. You don't want to try and use fences or anything. It's just not, it doesn't work how you want it to. Half wall is good. Half wall is good. Let it be. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> Shania, thanks for the resub. And Midwest and Rosie and Peace, thanks for the subs too. Yeah, it, I, I messed with the stairs too much in the last house that we did and I like actually couldn't fix them. Big mistake. Big mistake. We had to, in the last one, we tried to like open up the wall underneath it and I couldn't fill it back up appropriately. Even using the like corner triangle pieces, I couldn't get it to work. It was very stressful and not good and a big mistake. So I, again, learned my lesson. <laughs> You spilled your smoothie, Tilly? Oh no. Oh, that is bad. How bad is the situation? Is it like, oh, the entire bottle? Oh God, okay, that is, that's a bad situation, yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay, I'm gonna paint over this, like, trim on the roof, because I don't like it. Um, fix this too. I like painting in this game, I find it fun. Um, there's pieces in debug that you can't access. Yeah, that's kind of what I had noticed too, is there's, like, stuff that you can't access that sometimes are in the houses, and I find that very frustrating. Um, I was so impressed with how you got your smoothie out of your rug, teach me your ways. It's this, I have this little, it's a spot carpet cleaner called the Little Green Machine. That thing works magic, you guys. I spilled an entire smoothie, I, it wasn't like a bottled one, it was one that like I had made in the blender. Um, but I spilled an entire smoothie on my rug an entire smoothie. I got the entire thing out. You can't even tell. Magic. Little green machine. If you have, if you have like pets or I mean probably like little kids or if you're clumsy like me, <laughs> really, really helpful. <laughs> um, but anyway, good stuff. Use yours on dog pee and it works so well. Yeah. Sometimes, um, if like, you know, cats, I don't want to say puke, but you know, <laughs> when they do that, sometimes that happens. It's helpful to get like little spots out of the carpet um, in situations like that. So are you not, there we go. Um, okay. So anything that looks off on this, I think it's just lighting and not actually, yeah, it's just lighting and not actually the colors being off. The ceiling is all the same color. You may not be able to tell, but it is. <laughs> Which is very annoying, <laughs> but it's fine. Okay, change style. I don't know why you are red. That's horrible. I don't know what they were thinking by doing that, but it's okay. Um, I think... Wait, what's it called? They literally call it the little green machine. It's from a company called Bissell and it's like a little green machine. <laughs> Look up the little green machine. I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's what they call it. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess I might just paint all of the walls then. I can't do the outside yet because it's yucky. 
Oh, I wanted to do wallpaper. Wait. Oh, I hate that I already did this and now I have to do it again. Because I had, like, what I thought was really good vibes and now it's ruined. Um. Maybe I had used this. Before. What do you look like? I think that's too much for this room. We can maybe use that in the little entryway though. And then we use like that color on the walls in the other rooms. I think this is what I had done before. Um, I don't know if I like that. Maybe I can make it like which one are you? You're that color? Okay. What if we had it in like, oh, that's gray. That's bad. I hate that I have to, I hate, I hate you guys. I hate so much that we did this once before and, and like, I liked it and then it got ruined because now I'm just sat here thinking like, oh, what did I have before? What I had before was so good. <laughs> But it's never gonna be the same as before, and I want it to be better than before, but it just- it throws you off so much when you do it once and then it gets ruined, you know? It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. It's gonna be fine. I have to fix the ceiling paint in there, too. Um... Okay. You as well. How did I get ruined? My- the game didn't save my progress. I've learned my lesson. Look at this. When you go to the assembly tasks, it doesn't save in between. The game says, oh, we auto-save, we auto-save. But- but if you go to the assembly tasks, it doesn't save. So I didn't know that. I assumed that it would save it on its own because it says that it auto-saves. Um, and then it- all of it was gone. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yikes. It didn't even crash or anything. I just went into this and then it was gone. I think it only saves when you go from house to house, which is very confusing to me. I don't know why they, like, tout it as auto-saving, but... I learned my lesson. Now I know. <laughs> Tay, it's Sarah, it's spicy! Uh, we got Kaya, it's C4, it's Sarah, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Well, there we go. That's fine. I don't really know what I want to do with this room yet, so I'm gonna leave it. Um, only done one or two assembly tasks and now you're kind of scared too? No, it's fine. As long as you save before. Look, I'll go do one right now. Maybe we can do the desk. This one is- oh, this one's moderate. Well, we'll see. Okay. Oops. Got it. Assemble. Okay. One, two, three. Screw this in. Screw this in. I know, when they say assembly task, they literally mean assembly task. Okay. Um, what do you- okay. What do they- what do, what does a person gain from having- oh my god. Oh, I do not want to do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It literally is like IKEA simulator. Um, let me get the dowels. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, this is actually, like, causing me a lot of stress. Okay, and then I need these two little guys. And then I screw those in. Okay. Anyway, so the way that this works in this game is that- oh my. Is it only one drawer? I hope it's only one drawer. Um, <laughs> the way that it works is you, um, can assemble these things. Uh, and then it makes it so that they're cheaper to buy when you um, try and 
purchase them, which is a little bit different than the old house slipper game where like um, you had to do plumbing in every single house. So it's just a little different. Um, come here. There we go. Oh, just one? Okay. Um, oh, wrong thing. Okay, sorry, sorry. I thought I had the hammer. I don't like doing this one. <laughs> I find this one actually a little bit unpleasant. <laughs> okay. And it times you. And I'm not going very fast. Okay, I have to assemble that too. Why? Okay, 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 okay. Wow. Um, there we go. Oh, why would it time you? It gives you like stars. When you're playing this, it gives you like a star rating for how fast you did it. And I find that very stressful. It's not nice of them to do that to you. Um, okay. I've been three minutes. If I'm not gonna do this again. Don't you have to do it within three minutes for you to like get a get any stars? Am I gonna get zero stars on this? Um, what else do you need? Oh, the knob, okay. And then you need this screw. I didn't really think that I was in the mood to build IKEA furniture right now. Um, I don't even know what you need to do next. This, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, why did I decide to do this? I think we get more, I think we get more time on these, because these are a little bit more complicated, yes? Um, so we should get more timing with these pieces instead of the beginner ones. Kayla, don't build it then. Well, I already started. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop now. <laughs> I think I'm letting the timer stress me out too much. I feel like I can't read chat because I'm like too nervous about um, how, oh, okay. About the timer, but you have this game you've been playing, but you had, no idea this, you had no idea this was a part of it. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to like not realize this was a thing in the game. Um, it's not really necessary, like, you don't have to play this, you just can. Um, some people like this part. I wouldn't say I do, but, oh my god, I messed up. I need to, like... Okay. I can't even see that one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh! I messed up. It's gonna say that I made mistakes now, because I put that in the wrong spot. I don't like the hammer. It like shakes a little bit, and I find that stressful. That's my least favorite one, is the hammer. When you did it, it took you like 12 minutes? Oh no. Do you think it's gonna take me 12 minutes? I hope not. What do you want now? These guys, okay. Screws over there. It's been five minutes and 16 seconds. People could be like speed runners in this. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how the camera works in this game. I, I almost wish that the camera would like auto move you. Didn't the camera auto move you in the old game? With the, I can't even see. Okay, screw. Um, next. You'd watch a speed run of this, really? <laughs> well, I mean, you're not gonna get that from me, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, in the, in the first game, I think it, like, auto, um, moved you around, depending on where it needed you to be working. Oh my god. See, I don't like the camera movement. Oh, I can't even get it. Am I missing one still? Yeah, it's down there. Okay, and you need to go up there. And then up there. Tell me I don't have to try and screw this in from here. I actually can't even see. Oh my gosh. Um, that's half the problem. Just the fact that I can't see. That's one. 
It's been six and a half minutes. I think it's gonna take me 12 minutes like it took you. Yeah, all of this, by the way, we're gonna get like a 2% off discount when we buy a desk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a huge savings. <laughs> Listen, I would pay 2% extra to Ikea if I didn't have to, to per put it together myself. Is that right? Why isn't it slotting? What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Okay, that one's slotting. It doesn't want to slot. Does it not need to be placed yet? Is that the problem? Do I have shelves somewhere? Oh my god, there's more. Why do they put them all around the room? How- see, that's not fair! Why is my timer affected by the fact that I don't know where- oh my god. That can't be right. <laughs> but how is it- how is it fair that it's like basing it off of me not knowing where to put those things, but they don't even show me where they are. Okay. I don't like this one. If I were you, I would not do the, the medium tasks. You can do the basic ones, but don't do this one. Yeah, as if in real life you would like randomly scatter all the pieces around like this. No way. It doesn't place! Why? Oh, why? Okay, genuinely, why is it trying to tell me to to assemble that on there and like put that thingy there when it doesn't want it yet? It's acting like I need to do it right now and then it's not letting me. Why? That makes no sense to me. Why do you spill the door first when it's highlighting that part? Surely it would like only highlight it if you actually had to do it first, right? <sighs> Small screw. Small screw. Here we go. Okay, now? No, it's this part now. Oh my god. Okay, there's you, there's you. Do I need to put some sort of like hinge on or something? Am I missing something? Why doesn't it want to place there? You think it's bugged? That's kind of what I'm thinking too, because it usually tries to like, place itself. But it's not... You guys don't understand, it's not because of the precise placement. It like, sometimes it starts to slot. Okay, there you go. It has to slot itself there, but it wasn't... Like, I, it wasn't because of my placement settings either. I had tried that like a million times and it kept almost doing it and not finishing it. This game is very annoying. It wasn't because the screws are missing. Normally, with any other piece, it like kind of tries to line up. Um, but in this one, it wasn't working, which is why I kept changing all the settings and stuff. You have to finish below 8 minutes and 30 seconds to get 3 stars. That's annoying. I don't want to do this anymore. Shift enter. Goodbye. No longer. Wow. That was a lot. <laughs> now we can make a bathtub and a nightstand. I still got better on that than I did with the clock. The clock was hard. 4% discount though. That's nice. That would have made you rage quit. <laughs> it was, it was, it was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. It's okay. Um, let me find surface finishes. I want to get some paint. 
I think I'd like to do like a kind of cool color, but I don't really know which one. I think we like this color sometimes, yes? Do people make bathtubs IRL? Well, I assume that they mean like installing the tub and like, I mean, people have to uh, assemble and do the plumbing for bathtubs, yeah? I like this color. I think that's cool. I might do some like, oh, I don't know what I want to do with this. Part of me is like, oh, I should do some paneling, but then also, I don't know. I like this paint color, so. I don't know if I, I don't, I all of the paneling that I've tried to do in this game, I felt like wasn't that good. That's why I usually just put a baseboard and then call it a day. I don't know. Okay. That's nice. Come here. On this wall, please. What time is it there? Uh, it's 9.46 in the morning where I am. At the moment. Okay. Get all of that filled in. Pretty color. I hate that it's still dark outside. <laughs> I probably didn't help the fact that it's still dark outside by uh, going over to the, what's it called? Assembly task. You're having dinner right now? Isn't that so funny, the, the stark time zone differences? <laughs> yeah, the day has just begun around here. So I'm gonna leave that part empty. I know it's gonna bother you. Oh, I'm probably gonna do some tile on this wall too, but I'll leave it for now. I'm gonna leave the area in the window empty because I might change the window and I'm gonna end up having to paint it again. So I'm gonna just not deal with that until after we pick the windows. But I'm waiting to pick the windows until it's not dark outside anymore. Because the darkness is too hard to see. Kayla, I'm gonna be annoying warning you. What? Okay, what happened? Did I miss something, Tilly? What's going on? Oops. Have I read subs in a bit? No, it's because of the stupid assembly task. <laughs> Mystical and Lee and Charlotte and Katie and KM in Brooklyn and 80s and Grave. <laughs> Thank you for the subs. It's because of the assembly task. It's because of the assembly task. I threw myself, I threw, I forgot. I was, I couldn't. I was too focused on the assembly. <laughs> um, I think we should be caught up. Otherwise, I'm so sorry if not. Maybe there's a couple in there. I don't remember what, what the one I read before the assembly task was. Spicy, sir, Tay Tay, look, Roxy, I'm so sorry, thank you so much. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I'll tell you what, assembly tasks are not for me. I find them to be too stressful. It's not worth doing. <laughs> You wonder how Dan adapted to the American time zone? Oh, me and Dan were long distance for years before he moved here. And his sleep schedule, wacky. He was, um, he was basically on Eastern time before he ever got here. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> I think he adapted just fine. In fact, things are better now <laughs> because because he is, uh, with a normal schedule. <laughs> okay. Um. I think I want to get a, like, archway. Door frames. Logan? Yeah, I'll change the color of that, but that's kind of what I was hoping for. And again, I'm leaving the window areas open, because I might have to repaint the window sill because I'm going to probably change the windows. So ignore the windowsill, okay? Okay. I don't know if I like that or not. I might have to get some paneling. I don't know. We had baseboards before. Baseboards and like... 
I say before, because again, my game decided not to save. We did have a baseboard before, and I think that was nice. So we could try that again. Um, you didn't want zebras above the window? You know? No, not really. That wasn't really what I was going for. <laughs> okay. Your game crashed? No, not today. Uh, and it never crashed. It doesn't save your progress, even though it tells you it auto-saves. And when I went to the assembly task, you would think it would save in between it, but it doesn't. Oh my god, I messed that up. Um, not today. This was a while ago. I had- I've only today gotten up the courage to redo all of this. Because I spent all that time doing it, just for it to not save. <laughs> um, so this is not my first time starting to renovate this house. Um, I just couldn't bring myself to do it again until, you know, I had emotionally prepared myself. Baseboard helps, I like that. Okay, let's steal this paint again. And then I shall get rid of these things that are empty. And probably you as well. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, we sold, we sold the last house that we flipped on stream. We did sell that one already. That one's done. Thankfully. Molly, Michael, Steph, and me, and Corinne, and Mystical. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, okay. Okay. Um, why did my stream not stop and my computer crashed yesterday? Oh, the, um, you know how it, it puts up that, like, Twitch scene with like the emote and the screen where it's like, oh, something's wrong. Um, that's just what Twitch does. When Twitch loses your broadcast like really fast um, and you didn't like stop it, um, they put up like a ah <laughs> scene. So sometimes if you're having like internet problems, um, it, it only lasts for a little bit, but it helps with the um, time it takes you to come back. Um, so that's just kind of how Twitch works. Thankfully, it works like that. <laughs> um, okay. This color green was one of your wedding colors? Oh, really? This is a really pretty color. I like it. Um, is that new? Um, I would say it's like new, new. It's been a few years. But um, it's relatively new in the grand scheme of things, I guess. Um, Okay. That's fine. And maybe I'll change the color of this too. I think I'm gonna make this white. Glossy painted wood for the archway. That's pretty. So that's where the little entry is gonna go. Can you move stairs in this game? Yeah, you can change the floor plan a lot. Um, I personally, <laughs> don't really have much desire to do that. <laughs> but you can do that, yes. Um, oh dear. Is that based on how it's cut? Maybe I could increase the cut pattern size. I kind of like the, um, the color of that paneling. Oops. Maybe I could buy that and put it, hold on, I might make it higher up on the wall though. Like here. Um, and maybe I do the base too with the darker trim. Maybe I put some at the top then? Oh, that's kind of nice. Maybe. No, 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 no. I put it, put it in the wrong place by accident. Okay, put you back, steal that. Put, oh my God. It's so easy to put it in the wrong spot in this game. I have to put that back again. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. 
You hate cleaning the windows in this game? Really? I think cleaning the windows is so fun. How funny that like you dislike it and I like it so much. Um, okay, I like this, that's better. I do need to get the ceiling paint back. You hate windows? Really? I think the windows is so fun. <laughs> windows are so fun. Um, I like doing them. Okay. I've heard it's easier in House Slipper 2. Yeah, I think it is a little bit easier in House Slipper 2. I would say that it's maybe a little bit more intuitive in House Slipper 2. Um... I'm, generally speaking, most things are just a little better and make a little more sense in House Slipper 2. <laughs> like, oh my god, pretty much all of it is. Um, okay. I think I like the crown molding, maybe. And that's okay. I don't know. You like the windows dirty, so you usually leave them. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Windows are fun for me. Um, ooh. That should just be painted, probably, and not turned into a trim. I would say no crown molding there. Okay. Uh, Darren, Ella, and Artist, and Chaos. Thank you, Liv, as well with the subs. Kim, Molly, thank you so much, everybody. Um, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the crown molding. When I was doing the baseboards, I didn't know for sure. Oh my god, I put it in the wrong spot again. Oh, it's so annoying. I guess you should do molding first, and then paint afterward. Makes it easier for the game. I don't know if I like that, still. I'm not sure. Um, I just wish that it wasn't flat. I think that's part of my issue, is I don't like how it's completely flat like this. Um, okay. Weird. 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 I hate these triangles. This is why I won't rest with the stairs, because you gotta do it like so individually and I find that so annoying. Okay. I'm glad, Tilly. That'll be fun. I'm excited for you. Okay. That's a start, at least. Oh my god. Um, if I use the first cut pattern on the second row, it looks more 3D. You think I should do the whole thing again? Um, you think this one? Isn't that like... I mean, we can look at it. I don't know if it's like, I guess it has some shading. Maybe that is better. Let's just do it. I don't really mind. Um, oh, that is annoying Tilly that you paid for next day delivery and then it didn't come next day. I'm sorry. That happened with me and Dan- well, not really the same thing, because I didn't order it, I was sending something, but me and Dan paid for two-day delivery of the packet of his immigration paperwork. Um, this was like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I forget. We paid for two-day delivery. It was on Monday, it was supposed to get there on Thursday. They said on the receipt, it'll be there on Thursday. Well, <laughs> it didn't get delivered until Monday night. So I was quite stressed about that. Um, cause I was just, I, you want to get the immigration paperwork to them as fast as possible, you know? Um, so that was just kind of, uh, stressful. And also it was expensive. 
because it's not like it's a you know it's a heavy thick envelope and I I, I put like um, I basically like double enveloped it uh, in one of the like bubble mailer thingies that they have because then it's like waterproof so it wasn't like cheap to send <laughs> so I was stressed um, but you might choose something with more grain visual, but this looks great. Oh, I wouldn't pick anything that has bigger wood grain. I don't want like, it's it's painted, so I don't want it to have like visual wood grain really on this. That's my preference at least. Um, it's not too much visual wood grain. Um, okay. <laughs> For you, it's like a no mistakes challenge. Once you do one thing, you can't value you're committing to it, even if it's bad. Even if it's bad, I can't speak, sorry. Yeah, I do that with some things, especially when we're like doing the houses that belong to other people, like when we're doing the renovations um, that we're gonna sell. I kind of view that almost like a no mistakes challenge too. Um, I So I get that. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Let me see if I can get some scaffolding so we can get up there. Oh my God, this is the big one. I don't even think you can get up there from here. Maybe you can. Yay! Okay. That's good. Um, go away. So, oh! That was an accident. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Puffy Jim, go away and live. Thank you for the subs. Oh no. Okay, well. I guess I'll be redoing the window. Okay, shall we pick all of the windows first then? So what I was hoping to do was change the shutter color and stuff. Um, oh, perfect. Okay, so what? color are we thinking of painting this house? Because we have a lot of options. I kind of like the white trim and the wood inside and then maybe like a blue. <laughs> okay, we maybe make it a blue suburban. Um, maybe I make the shutters like a Matte plastic, probably not that. Damaged painted wood. I wanna paint it a color. I'm in the wrong thing. Shutters, color. I'm thinking we could do like a dark blue on the shutters like that. And then we have like a light blue on the rest of the building. Oops, I fell. Um. We may have to, oops, sorry, wrong thing. Copy style, come here. Let me see how that looks if I paste it down here. <gasps> I don't want the shutters, oops, mistake. Mistake, mistake, mistake. I'm stuck, oh my God. See, that's kind of nice though, right? We can just delete the shutters. It is okay. Um, okay. What if I kept the shutters open? Well, we're gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna have the shutters closed on those windows. It's okay, we're not done. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. We're gonna remove the shutters. I'm just pasting all the windows everywhere. Um, there's not gonna be any shutters on these, okay? I'm just putting these for now. Um, I need to duplicate an entire window. Oops. Because I want to put that upstairs. No sunlight for us. No, we don't want it, clearly. <laughs> no, I don't want shutters on most of those windows. I'm just going to remove them and the ones that I don't want in. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Okay, try and put that in the exact same spot as before. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. 
That's actually smaller than it was before, so that's bad too. I'll just get a new one altogether. <sighs> okay. I have to build this again. Okay. So, windows. I don't know what size it needs to be. Is that one right? No. Seven by six. So I want, I guess. That's seven by eight. I don't want that. I guess I could just use the seven by eight big one. Is that even the right one? No, come here. Well, do I want shutters that big on this? I don't know. Oh no, I fell again. Oh my god. I'm starting to think that I don't even like this. <laughs> Copy style, paste. Okay. It's fine. Come here, please place like this. Why are you doing this to me? Oh no. Okay. There we go. Is that too high up? Maybe, but that's fine. So I do not want you to have shutters on that one. I do not want this one to have shutters either. That one can have shutters, I think. Most of those ones upstairs, probably no shutters. No shutters on you. Um, oh, that needs to be changed too. Okay. Copy this. That's nice, right? Yes. Okay. I guess I could just paste that on these one. Oh, wait. That is a little bit different in a couple of these spots that had. I don't know. Those are fine. I don't want shutters there. Okay. That seems good, right? I don't want the door. I don't want that. Okay. Okay, okay. Copy style. Um, also, hi Miv, how are you doing? Good, I hope. Oh, I did get those, okay. Good. I think you might buy this game, you asked them for a key, but they never gave you one. It's worth buying, I like it a lot, Miv. I think you'd have fun streaming it. Thank you for the tier two 59 months, by the way. <laughs> and Fumble, and Alicia, and Recover, and Dante, thank you for the subs. Is it expensive? Um. Kinda. I did see somebody say it's on sale. I don't know if they were lying. Hold on. Let me check myself. Um, it is not on sale. <laughs> it's uh, it's thirty nine ninety nine on Steam. So you're saying it is on sale? Oh, if you own House Slipper One, it's discounted. So if you already, I assume you have the first House Slipper, right, Miv? Um, so you do get a discount if you have the first one. Um, so that helps as well. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I might start painting the outside. You're gonna buy it, you think? I think you should. It's fun. Um, okay. So... I'm kind of thinking that up here, let me copy that and then try and make it into like, oh, it would be nice to have like a dark, color. That totally ruins my um, window sill or window shutter, sorry. But it would be kind of cool to have a dark color, maybe. 
Or we could go for a light color. I guess the dark might be too dark. This one has kind of like a grayish tone to it. Oh, I quite, actually I quite like that color. I messed up, I didn't mean to place it all the way there. I don't know about the, the shutters, but we can come back to that. I think that's a nice color. And it's very blue suburban in like the best way. Okay. That's pretty. Okay. We're on to something. <laughs> oh, I fell. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Average, thank you for the 25 months. Oh my. Miff, are you gonna get a cat? Just a question. Just a question. I, I think that you should get two cats, but you should, oh my God. By the end of the year, maybe sooner, oh. You should. Also, I really mean it when I say, I know it sounds chaotic when I say two cats, but I really sincerely mean it when I say, I think that you should get two cats. If you're gonna get one cat, I think you should get two cats. I realize it's gonna be hard to get Will on board with two. <laughs> we can't even get him on board with one, but I, I really think that you should get two cats. Um, cats do really well when they have a friend, so. It's better for them. And it will make your life better too. Trust me. Um, he was looking at how much it is to have a cat for months and he was like, hee hee, what if we got one? Oh, this is good. This is a good sign. Um, if you're gonna get, if you're gonna get just one cat, I would get an older cat. But if you're gonna get a kitten, get two cats. Um, is my advice to you as a person who has both. <laughs> um, if you wanna get just one cat, you could get an older cat. Um, just an, not necessarily an old cat either, you could just adopt an adult cat, but. Um, but yeah, that's what I would suggest. Okay, I can't get the area behind that, so that's kind of annoying me, but it's okay. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to go back in and get the trim everywhere. I also just messed up the chimney, so that's no good. I've messed up the trim the trim in a lot of places, so we're gonna have to put it back. Um. Okay, I can't reach up there, so that's annoying. But it's okay. We'll come back to it. Um. Your friend got a cat who doesn't like other cats. She was six. Yeah, see, that's that's like genuinely great advice. Uh, obviously, in doing so, you need to be prepared for <laughs> a cat that doesn't like other cats <laughs> for the future. But um, it's I think uh, rewarding and cool. So um, yeah, it, it kind of depends how bad the allergies are, Miv. Um, I don't know what Will's parents are like, but when Dan's parents were here, Dan's brother and dad are also allergic to cats. Um, and we just kept the cats like doors closed out of their bedroom. Um, and I like tried to vacuum a lot. <laughs> um, and they and we were a little bit sneezy and stuff, but when it's a week and your allergies aren't too bad, um, kind of just depends on the person. I don't know what Will's dad is like, um, but he might be okay. Um, yeah, but I usually, like, we, we just keep the cats out of that room. Um, we have, like, an air purifier, too. That's a great idea, I hope. Um, those sorts of things can help if people have allergies. But, um, I don't know. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I hate trying to get it behind these plants. It doesn't really want to place, and I don't really wish to move the plant, but I'm gonna probably have to. <laughs> Oops. That makes me sad, I don't want to move it. I like it. Close the shutters to panel the windows. Oh, I guess I probably should do that. Here's, so here was my thing. <laughs> I was planning on just 
not paneling what I could not see. <laughs> but I understand why that might be upsetting to a lot of you. <laughs> People have very strong opinions about House Flipper and leaving some parts of the walls unpaneled is probably a, <laughs> a no-go. <laughs> Um, okay. Very nice. Um, thinking like a flipper again. Yeah, I mean, as you should, right? That's how you make money in this business. Oh wait, they have like a foundation on parts of this that I've since gotten rid of. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go back and repanel like so much on the outside with the trim pieces. I've kind of stressed myself out. Um. Okay, let me steal this again. Am I using all the silence in the boxes? Yeah, uh, we've pretty much run out of it on those other boxes. And if I left some over there, it's okay. <laughs> Cause we're gonna have to go back and do the, the high parts that I can't reach from down here. So it's not a big deal. We will use up all the siding, don't worry. I'm gonna have to like move the stuff. Um. Okay. Um, yeah, Miv, that's another thing. It really depends on the cat as well. Um, I, so from my experience, <laughs> uh, which is my family has had a lot of animals in my life, obviously. Um, cats don't like puppies. Kittens adopt, like adapt better to dogs. Um, depends on the cat again, but, but, uh, the cats that we've gotten after we had dogs like dogs. <laughs> the cats that we've gotten, or the dogs that we've gotten after we had cats, those cats don't love the dogs as much. But I think it's just because oftentimes puppies want to play and the, the cat is like, I, you are big and I don't want to play with you like that annoying puppy. Um, but puppies are a lot for anyone to deal with, especially for a cat, so. <laughs> um, I don't know, if you're planning on getting a dog at some point, um, might be better to have the dog first, but who knows. It really depends on the on the cat though. Like Snap used to get along really well with our, our dog that we had when I was a kid. He passed away a long time ago, um, but uh, Snap was like really good friends with him, but she didn't like our other dogs as much. She didn't hate them, but she didn't like them as much. So, um, kind of just depends. Okay. I want to steal that so I can put it in the parts that I messed up. Um, okay. Yeah, like to give an example, I think if I got a dog right now, I'd ruin Snap's life. And I, I mean that in like the nicest way possible, but I think that if I got a dog like today, Snap would just hate everything. <laughs> I think that would be really hard for her. Um, obviously she's very old and um, she's going through a lot as it is. <laughs> so um, <laughs> she would not enjoy that. So, um, okay, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, there's that's the thing, Hope. There's so many, like, pros and cons to it. Um, like, having, if a dog is around a cat when it's young, it might help to train it to be nice around cats, so I don't know. Um, you could, Miv, you could almost certainly find an adult cat that's been in homes with dogs before. Um, I, I think that you could definitely find an adult cat like that. I, um, I'll, I'll tell you this also from experience. Kittens are not as cuddly as older cats. They definitely have their moments and, and like some cats are more cuddly than others, obviously, but um, older cats are 
really, really fun to have around. <laughs> um, so, so people often like, I don't know, count them out, I guess, because they like have in their heads they want a kitten, but um, older cats are really, really cool. So, uh, quick and little and fish, thank you for the subs. I mean, Miv, you know Snap. She's perfect. Kittens are a little more chaotic. My kittens are, they're getting cuddly, um, but they're not, I wouldn't say they are like super cuddly yet. They sleep in the bed now um, at night, but like Snap will sit on the couch with me constantly. Like she crawls up into my lap and like puts her arm up and touches my face with it and stuff. Like Snap is a very friendly, friendly kitten. Um, well, senior kitten, <laughs> if you will, but she's a nice kitty. Um, old cats are really nice. So, I love Snap so much, you don't get it. No, anyone who's been around Snap um, in real life, they, they know that she is a very friendly, very cuddly cat. So, she'll cuddle with, with a stranger as well. If you, if you brush her, she'll cuddle. Um, she's great like that, so. Um, we're gonna fix this too. <gasps> Oh my god. I'm so mad at myself right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brushing snap equals immediate best friend. Yeah, seriously. She, um... She, she trains people quite well. When we have, like, guests that stay over for, like, you know, an extended period of time. Like, if you're gonna be here, like, the times that, like, Sasha has come and stayed the night for a couple days. Um, Snap literally will train you. Like, she knows, because anytime a guest comes over, I'm like, oh, brush her, because then she'll love you, right? So then she's like, this person's my brushing friend. <laughs> and so, if you, like, come downstairs, you wake up in the morning, she will go and sit on the couch and scream at you. And, and be like, hello? <laughs> Are you going to brush me? <laughs> but she like trains you to brush her at her at her whim. She knows what she wants and she'll get it. <laughs> she's she's pretty smart and she's uh she's good at it. So Okay, I need to clean this, but I just cl closed it by accident. Um Hold on. How come why does it look like that? It's not dirty from the inside. Should I just sell it and get a new one? Maybe? Um, oh, don't demolish, oops. Okay. Um, a recent guest said to Juno, I love you as an extension of your mother's, but not necessarily as an individual. <laughs> God, they said that to her out loud. Hope, I don't know who this guest was, but they're mean. They're bullying your cat. That's actually messed up. She's just a baby. Okay. Um, that is fixed. Let me move. Oh, wait, let me get that too while I'm out here. Let me get this. My cat is mean, especially if you don't win or want to win her over. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. My kittens are not mean. Shrimp is a little bit scared of people. Like, Shrimp is kind of nervous around people. He doesn't really come out that much when people are around. Um, Sunny's a little bit more brave, which is funny, because I would imagine that she would be the... The, the shy one, but um, Shrimp is a little more shy. He did sniff Hope's hand when she came over, so that was big. <laughs> Real exciting stuff, you know? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I don't like that. I think I might actually use the blue up there. Your cat likes strangers more than she likes you. Really, that's so funny. Um, okay, paneling under the shutters. Yeah, 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 I can fix it. I personally don't mind if it's left open, but... <laughs> and I know that chat minds, so... 
Fine, 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 fine. I know you could see part of that one, but... Oh, this is not painted. It's a good thing I noticed this then. Is there more? I can't even get to all that. Okay. Oh my god, I actually don't know how to get to that part. Huh. Oh, here we go. I can see it from down this way. Okay, that's fine then. Um... I just tried to shift click like I could crouch like you do in Minecraft. <laughs> to like peek around a corner. <laughs> I got that part then, that's good. Deceit? Make you crouch and stay? No. <laughs> it makes you fall off the building slowly though. <laughs> X and Sammy and Nikki, thank you for the subs. Oh no. Okay, that's fixed. That's nice. Um, there was siding missing under the awning on the right side. Didn't I just fix that? I don't know. I don't know. Come here. Paint behind this, please. Thank you. Okay. We're gonna have to get up there. I hate that. Okay, we've got that part at least. It's up there that I'm gonna really struggle to get to, I fear. Um, I may have to do one of my little tricks where I try and stand on top of a bookshelf. Um, that's mostly fixed. Okay. Why is there a line in the last few corners you did? Um, I think it's just because of the kind of paneling that it is. That's the paneling that was already there, and I, I say this with love, but I don't care to try and redo it. So, I simply won't. Um, oh my god, moving with scaffolding is really annoying. Who would have thought? You walk so slow when you try and carry this stuff. I don't know if this scaffolding will fit over here. There is a smaller kind of scaffolding, right? I don't think that um, the... Yeah, this one's smaller. Even then, it's not that small. But... Okay, that's trash. Selling an empty box. Okay, here we go. We can fit this one because it's a bit skinnier. Well, what I was going to say is that I'm worried that the scaffolding won't fit on the side of the house. On the other side. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. But Do you think it'll let me clean the inside of that? Because the other one didn't really work. Okay, I can. Cute. Stand on the gazebo? Yeah, I'm gonna try and get on the gazebo, I think, with the other one. I think that's the only way. We'll see how that goes. Really? You don't want to fit here? Is that because of the tree? Probably. Alright. That's okay, we can finish the rest of this pretty easily. <gasps> no! Oh, I ruined it. Okay, hold on, try again. Yeah, this is the, the original like childhood home that you start off with um, that we're doing right now. So, that is where we are at the moment, just doing our own home. One, two, three. Okay. Nice and blue. That should be good. Um, I think I should be able to get rid of you. Look at that little mushroom. That's cute. Do you think I'll have space for the scaffolding over here? Yes, we do have space for the scaffolding over here. Needs an undo function. Yeah, if there was some sort of undo button, that would make my life a lot easier. 
It's so often I, I put the wrong thing or I paint like one tile wrong. It's really, really annoying. Um, I wish that we had something like that. Yikes. this all sorted. We need a slightly smaller set of scaffolding, I think. Um, but alas, we do not have that in this game yet. <laughs> oh, I might try and put shutters on this one. I think shutters here on this window would be good too. Okay, that seems fine to me. Guess it's realistic with no undo. Yeah, but I don't know. Sometimes it's okay to have a little bit of not realism. <laughs> you know? There are two sizes. Yeah, this is the smaller one though, Mel. And I want one smaller than this. Um, we need an even smaller variant. Oh my gosh. There we go. What happened to chat? I don't know. I think there was someone creepy, but I didn't see what they said. Um. Oh, yeah, that was creepy. Okay. Um, I checked. Um, let me see if we can get the color of the shutters for us to copy. Copy style. Uh oh. I guess I just copy this one. I'll make things easy. Um, up here we go. Paste. Yay, shutters. That's good. I like that better. They should add fall damage. I, that would actually be kind of funny if they added fall damage. <laughs> I would kind of like that. <laughs> Hi, Tika, by the way. Hope you're doing good today. Um, yeah, yikes. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this scaffolding over here. Um... We can put it in a couple of places, maybe here. I should be able to paint some of this. I don't think I can get onto the, oh, I can. Oh, good, okay, so we can do that then. We can put it here and then get onto the gazebo from there. So that's fine. We shall be okay. Annoyingly, we're up like a little bit too high. Because <laughs> you can't really see to get the um, underside places painted. Yeah, the gazebo might not even be good enough either. It might be too high over here too. That's so annoying. You can't see the top. I don't even... Oh, I guess crouching is fine. I thought crouching wouldn't work. But I guess you can. Is that all of it though? No, even crouching isn't all of it. That's so annoying. You have to get so close to the edge. Oh, there's even more. Oh my God, you guys, I can't deal with this. You actually can't even get the rest of it. I fell. Oh, slow falls to the ground. <laughs> no. This is so annoying. Um, no, Meggles, we finished the house from last week. This is our house, the house that belongs to us in game. Um, it's like the one you inherit from your parents. Is what we're doing right now. Oh my God, we need like a normal ladder. This is not good. Okay, I think that should be pretty much all of it. We do have to change the color of these columns. I'm gonna paint them with a light colored wood, I think. Not marble, wow, that's cool. Okay. Light colored as in white, I guess. But um, that's fine. You know what would be nice to have? You can change the color of the roof. 
Oh my god. I don't know if I can bring myself to deal with that right now, but that is interesting. Okay, what I'm curious to know is can I put... Okay, hold on, hold on. Copy style. Okay, I need to get like a... Oh no. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... Let me try that. On the roof. Okay, so if I did that, but if I made it like the oak color, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, wrong color wood. Let me get the, hold on, surface finishes, panels. I think this is, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Try that one. This should match the, the windows. Oh, I don't know if that's good though. Just because it does match the windows doesn't mean that it should. Yeah, that's bad. I don't know. You like the white? Yeah, I think the white's probably better. There's a good idea in theory, but I don't think it works. Um, where did those white stuff go? Oh, I changed that one, okay. Um, change style. Oh no. Oh, this one is, maybe I try this one. Yeah, let's go around and do that then. Well, I'm gonna have to try and get on the roof again. Why didn't I do this earlier? I don't have access to the roof anymore. <sighs> okay. Um, I need to move my scaffolding again, actually. So don't mind me. I'll probably do this side quick though. The bottom of the beams. I didn't forget, you guys. I'm trying to do the roof. It's okay. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff that we need to fix around the whole house still. I, I didn't forget about the bottom of those columns. I'm still not sure what color I want the columns to be, so I just haven't done it yet, okay? Um, there's no need to, to panic about the color of the columns. We will get to it. One step at a time. We're trying to do the roof trim. Um, and then we'll come back to it. I know that this is not painted, okay? I can see it too. <laughs> Just give me a chance, okay? <laughs> um, oak pillars maybe? That's kind of what I'm wondering is if we should try the oak ones. I don't know if I want to or not. That's why I haven't done it yet, but maybe. The chimney? What? The chimney's stone. I like how that chimney looks. You'd be buying fresh scaffolding? I probably should be buying fresh scaffolding. This is really annoying. <laughs> Setting fire, thanks for the gifted subs. And Charlie and Mutt and Mash, thank you for the subs too. Oh my. Okay, that's fine. Let me get rid of you. Okay. The chimney top. The top of the chimney is the wrong color. If the top of the chimney is the wrong color, I'm not, oh my God, I want to scream and cry. I hate this game. I'm serious when I say that. I do not like it. <laughs> Can I put like a bookshelf up here? Can I climb onto the roof from there? Wait. Watch this. Okay, I need to I need one one taller bookshelf in between these so I can step up to this. Let me up. Oh, I got it. Okay. There we go. Can I copy the style of this? No. Okay. Well, I got up and I don't have the stuff. So that's bad. Try again. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Danny, thank you for the gift of subs. Oh no. Parkour, parkour, parkour. Oh, okay. There we go. 
I guess I gotta change the trim on this too. Oh no, it won't be changed. Can I, can you change the color of it just generally? Oh. Oh, a fresh coat of paint makes a big difference. That's nice. Wow, okay. I think that's the outside completely repainted. I think it's fine. I like it. I'm not doing anything else for it. I can't bring myself to. I don't really want this sandbox anymore. Sandboxes kind of give me the ick. Okay. Well, that's lovely. Get rid of that too. Oh, I'll vacuum this up. We just gotta fix the columns and then we're pretty much done with the whole outside. So that's good. Okay, I wanna try a wooden column. I never did the piece on the roof. Yes, I did. The roof is done. Okay, I'm leaning towards maybe trying to use the oak color. Because we've been using that pretty much everywhere. If I made this into that, like, oak color too. We could try and get some more oak accents places. Okay. I might put like a white base at the column. Now people are saying for the white, so that's kind of throwing me off. I don't know what's best. I'm trying to have some more of the oak accents because we have the oak on the windows, but people maybe don't like that. I don't know. Steal that, please. I need to buy some more again. I think I want to put... It's this that I never fixed. So I gotta put that back. And then... Oh, I guess that's probably bad. Never mind. Don't do that. You like the oak? Okay, that's good. We can get a white base on the column, too. I can maybe make this part into oak the deck and that could be good also I don't know I don't really know if I like it or not but we'll see I can't place it here because of the stupid ugh. move there we go okay so if I copied the style of this. It's, I just need to get like the oak panels and then put it in like this texture. Is that what they have? Oh no, theirs are smaller. Theirs are bigger. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, I think that's nice. What's that? Oh, it has to be done all at once. Huh. Okay. Is it like a stair or something? Is that why it's doing that? Possibly. May have to change the color of that separately. There's gonna be a door here, so you won't really see that. Oh, I think that helps. Okay, which one am I using? That one? Let me sell the ones that I don't need then. Change style. Put oak on that. That looks good. The little step. 
I think the outside is looking a lot better. Oh, I do have to fix the ceiling. Or the walls here, I mean. Oh, that's not the right thing, is it? Go away. Just in case, I'll buy this again. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe we could try... I don't know if this is a good idea, but maybe we could try... Like the little stone bits at the base of the column, because that's the color of the foundation. The white doesn't look like white, so I'm trying to think of maybe a white garage door. Oh, I kind of like the wooden one. I think I'm gonna keep the wood. I really like wood textures like that, so. The door, the front door, is gonna like mix and match it all together, so that should help too. Am I going to change the archway? What, this? This is gonna be the front door. There's just a hole there. We're gonna put a door there. <laughs> if that's what you're asking. <laughs> there there used to be a door and then I sold it. Um, same thing back here. It's not an archway, it's a, it's the door. We just haven't put it in yet. So it's okay. It'll be fine when it's done. Don't worry. Um... Let me through. Oh, I just want to sell you, to be honest. Probably won't use that again. Um, you think a door without a door is kind of an archway? Yeah, a door without a door is an archway. But I just want to make it clear that I, I, it's not going to be an arch. <laughs> it's a door. It's going to be a door. It's just not done yet. Um, oh, that's bad. Don't like, don't like, don't like, don't like. Oh no. Okay. I think I might get the little... No, the one in the garden. Oh, the literal archway. Um, I think I might like it being a wood color, but I'm not really doing that yet. I don't know. I was looking at that before. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. Um, so I haven't really decided yet. We'll mess with it. We'll think about something, but I wasn't really sure. Because when I painted the gazebo, I... Decided to leave the archway that color, but I'm I was undecided So I don't know we'll think about it Oh my god, I hate that I should have just left it I've made it worse. You know what? No, it was better before it's like a concrete slab. That's normal people have that on their little back decks, it's like a foundation around it Oh, Dika, I much prefer building in The Sims. This, to me, is is really tedious. Um, and, like, kind of agitating to work with. So, I don't know. It's not my- I would- I would pick The Sims over this any day. It's fun to do this from time to time, but, like, I would never say that I think this is, like, a better build mode than The Sims. Does that make sense? Um... Yeah, it's like, part of it, honestly, half the problem has to do with the angles. Like, um, the fact that you're like always this up close. Sometimes when you're trying to paint really big walls or like paint the staircase, or earlier when I was doing the, um, the, what's it called? The assembly task, how you like can't really change the angle how you want to. Oh, it's so annoying. So annoying. Was that the giraffe room? What, in here? Yeah, this is the living room of, of the main house. Um, the house that you just get given when you first start playing. Um, it's like your childhood home, and it used to have giraffe wallpaper. So, yes indeed, this was the giraffe room. I was leaving the window uh, trim unpainted in case I changed the, the window shapes, but I didn't end up changing the window shapes. So, we are fine. Oh, zebra room. It was zebras, not giraffes. They said giraffes. I said, I just copied them. <laughs> it was a zebra room. Okay. Um, I want to change the style of this. I want the windowsill to be that matching oak color. I 
should have changed that sooner. I'm scared to go through and copy paste because I um not all of these windows have shutters and I don't want to copy paste them again, so I'll just do it individually. We will do it individually per room. Okay, let's find a door then. That one seems good to me. Okay. Should it have any? Here's what I'm thinking. I think I want the inside of it to be wood and the outside to be the white framing. That's kind of what I'm going for with this. Beautiful, okay. Um, and then this one back here is gonna be like a little back door. This one has like a slightly different vibe to it. Can you open outside though? Let me just copy this style first on this one. You feel like the entry doesn't match the rest of the house. <laughs> Oh my god, I liked it. <laughs> if guys, we haven't even done the rest of the house. You know? So maybe give us a chance, okay? Um I thought it was kind of cute. I know not everybody's going to like everything, but <laughs> Look, here's the philosophy with this game, okay? Um, and if you played it yourself, maybe you'd understand, maybe you wouldn't, who knows. Um, but <laughs> the philosophy with this game is that once you've done something, you kind of just gotta let it be. Because if you don't, I mean it when I say, you will literally never finish. It's so cursed. <laughs> this game is so annoying <laughs> with stuff like that. Like, if, if you don't just just take what you've got and run with it, you're never gonna be done. It's it's really kind of stressful. Um, so uh, it, th there's too much to do. There's too much um, choice almost. So you can only uh, deal with so much. Okay, this is where the little half bath's gonna go. I like those doors with the oak coloring. I think that's pretty. Um, and the white trim. How long does it usually take to renovate a house? I don't know. Um, hours, <laughs> probably <laughs> a long time. It's they're all quite big, so it can take a while to do all this. Um, it's probably not what you want to hear, but <laughs> it can really take a while to do this sort of build. Um, okay, that's good. Yeah, the door matches the beam. That's why I did it on purpose. Um, white door from the garage door too. Um, on this, I don't think that you can do the frame in the same way. Um, it's like base and then details. There's not really framing, um, in that same sense. Um, we could potentially, if it like really bothers you, I guess, we could try to like put some like white in there in that section. Um, I don't like how that looks on the roof. I don't care to rotate it. I just simply won't do it. Don't ask me to, I won't do it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that looks better. I don't know. The base of the pillars to what should be white. We had them white first and then we changed it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They were white, and then we changed them um, to stone to match the foundations. Um, you think this is good? You think this is fine? Just leave it as is. I don't really care that much about it. I think we gotta just let it be. If we keep sitting here trying to think about that stuff, we're never gonna finish the build. We gotta allow ourselves to to finish, you know? <laughs> If we if we sit here still trying to do it, it's never gonna be done. So, um. 
Okay, I don't really know what I want to do with the staircase. I'm just gonna paint it the same color as the downstairs for now. Just so we can have the walls not be red. Because the red is horrible and I it's really making me feel sad, so. Um, oops, you don't want to paint all the way, do you? Okay. Come here. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta move on. That's kind of my philosophy with it, too. Like, at a certain point, like, we could sit here and mix and match the, the one tile wide base of the column all day, but at a certain point, you just gotta, like, let it be. <laughs> we gotta just do the next thing or else we're never- because we, there's too much customization in this. That's, like, that's the problem. And it's not really a problem, it is cool, but, um, you can really do so much. Um. Okay. Good. Oh no, stop. This way, okay. Should challenge myself to have a red guest room? You think I should have a red guest room? <laughs> I hate the color red. I was thinking like yellow. Um, I wouldn't say that it's really challenging myself to do red. I can use red. <laughs> I do use red a lot as well in like Sims builds and stuff. Um, there's a lot of like fun red swatches on certain things. It's just, it's not my preference, you know? So it wouldn't be my first choice. Um, light pink? Maybe. I'm gonna make my office pink, I think, though. So, I'm not sure. We had, before we restarted this, which we had to restart because the game didn't save my progress, um, <laughs> we had like a rainbow tile in the bathroom and I really liked it, so I kind of want to do that again. Um, we can get some kind of pretty pastel colors going on in this house. Um, okay. Lovely. Yeah, I might pick a different color for more of the upstairs. I don't really know how to connect it up though, cause I guess in that wall, it should be the different color. I already painted it all green. Uh, I don't want to do the, the upstairs right now. Is that a linen closet? Um, I'm gonna make mine into a tiny half bathroom with just a toilet and a sink. It could be a linen closet. I think originally they had the washer dryer in there, but I'm gonna put the washer dryer in here. So, that's kind of my thoughts on it. Um, okay, I would like to duplicate the doors quick. Um, oh, you don't need a door. You need a door. You need a door. And, oh, did the primary bedroom previously have a bigger door? Interesting. Oh no. 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 Okay. That's not good. That is not good at all. Okay. This is my bedroom. I messed up. Sorry, everybody. Okay, there we go. What's that? Okay, visual glitch. We're fine. Yeah, you need an undo button in this game. <laughs> like, really badly you need an undo button in this game. <laughs> that would be a huge help. Um, okay, that should probably open into the bathroom as well. Same with you. Like that. Okay. Undo works in sandbox mode? Oh, that's good to know. That's- that makes me feel better. <laughs> that's a relief. Um, I haven't played with a sandbox mode yet, so I haven't seen it really. Um, you accidentally sold a window in this house before you knew how to buy and place windows? Oh no. That would have made me cry. That would have been too much for me. I would have been able to handle that. 
Uh, hey, Rosie, Libby, Philip, and Allie, thank you for the subs. Oh, no. <laughs> Am I going to TwitchCon EU in June? I actually don't know yet, Cozy. So here's the problem. TwitchCon EU is at the exact same time as VidCon. Same weekend. Um, I've been invited to VidCon. I haven't decided if I want to go or not yet. Um, after last year, I'm a little bit like, ooh, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> because of the shark incident. Um, if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm also, anytime with the conventions in the summer, I'm always worried. Um, just, just so we're on the same page, I don't know a single thing about any Sims packs right now, okay? But there's always Sims packs that come out in the summer. So I'm like always a little bit wary of like, well, what if I decide to go to VidCon and then like that week is the week that the new expansion pack comes out, you know? So I always get a bit at like, I don't know. So I haven't decided yet. I need to think about it more. Um, the shark incident. <laughs> is I did a panel at VidCon um, and this man in a shark costume climbed onto the stage and then said, you ever seen a fish's balls before? Sorry for the vulgar wording. And then grabbed himself and I thought he was going to take them out. He didn't. Um, but that's what happened. And, and the reasoning that I uh, am weary of VidCon now <laughs> is because like, how did he get on the stage? Why didn't their security stop him? What if he was gonna hurt somebody? Like he was just trying to like troll or whatever and get attention. But what if he wanted to hurt someone? You know, he got on stage. And then um, I was on the panel with a bunch of other YouTubers that are way bigger than me. Uh, and there's this YouTuber called Dream. He has like private security. Dream's private security is the person who got the shark off the stage, not VidCon security. Dream's private security is who stopped them. So that makes me feel a bit like, why didn't VidCon, how, how, he climbed, he walked up the front of the row, climbed over the fence, and then climbed onto the stage. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> it made me feel a little bit unsafe, um, and I was, like, I will say that at the rest of the event, I felt, like, pretty good about the security and the safety of it all. Like they had a hotel with very serious security and like you had to have your badge showing at all times. And they were like escorting people in cars around the back of the convention. But um, I just find it quite weird that he was able to get on the stage. Like, um, and I don't know, at the time, looking back on it, he didn't ha like, he didn't do anything dangerous, right? But like when you're sitting there and this person is like climbing onto the stage screaming at you and you can't really hear him that well to understand what he's saying because he's far away and like it's so loud in the convention hall like i didn't know what he wanted so he stood up there and started yelling at us and then he started climbing over and then he climbed up and it's like i didn't know what he was gonna do you know um so anyway it ended up being fine but like it could have been dangerous and that's what kind of freaks me out about it so um anyway <laughs> Um, he could have done anything. Like, I just, I didn't really know what to do. And then when they, <laughs> so when the security guy, like, he literally like, picked him up and carried him off the stage. Um, and the shark was, like, flailing. And, like, his, he started doing the worm. And then that's when Dream Security picked him up. So he kind of kept doing the worm when he was picked up. So in, when you see, if you've seen the video, in it, you can see me. Because he, like, carries him behind us. And I, like, shrink down because <laughs> he was flailing his arms behind me. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> you want to see the video? I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can find it. Um, I'd have to find, when you watch the video, it doesn't even seem as bad as it, um, as it actually felt at the time. Because it, uh, with, with these sorts of things, it always seems so much, um, it seems so much slower when you watch it, like when it's happening in real time, then you watch the video back and it's like, oh, um, it wasn't that bad, you know? <laughs> um, I, I think my friend Dylan posted a, oh no, I don't know how to find it. I don't know where to look. It's Dream Security Throws Heckler Off Stage. <laughs> Dream Security Throws Heckler Off Stage. Dan has a video too. Oh, sorry. Oops. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, let's watch this. I don't want to listen to it. It makes me feel embarrassed. There's me. I was there. There's the shark. Hey, 
Here he comes, he climbed over. Now he's climbing up. Oh good, you can't see the balls thing. <laughs> now he's doing the worm. See, he wasn't actually that bad. He wasn't being like dangerous, but. <laughs> you didn't know what he was gonna do. So. I don't even think that that, I think that is also private security. I don't think that that is VidCon security. I think that like Dream has more than one guy. And I think that's the other guy. Which is like extra, what, where's VidCon, <laughs> you know? Like how did he get up there? There's a barrier here, like a fence and he climbed over that and then climbed on. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Weird stuff, huh? <laughs> Is the blue shirt guy VidCon security? Who, this guy? No, that's a YouTuber. <laughs> Unless you mean someone in the video, like, that is moving around. Everyone here is on the panel. The other blue shirt guy? Oh, I don't know who we're talking about. We'll have to find out. No, there was nobody in the front. You would expect there to be- oh. <laughs> Wait. There is someone right there. What was he doing? Hold on. <laughs> he just walked away. He says, not my problem. I don't know. It, like, I mean, I wouldn't blame that individual guy. He's probably not equipped enough to handle it. But like, this is the thing, right? I, I am not as big of a YouTuber as these people are. Obviously Dream knows that he is at risk at places like this and that's why he brings private security. But like, these people have millions of followers. Millions of followers. And, and people are scary. You have to like, th these are like celebrities that you're talking about. You need to have like serious security when there's a person like that on the panel. Maybe it's fine when it's a smaller panel, like if it was just people like me, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal. But when there's a person like that, like, are you on the couch in the pink shirt? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> um, but anyway, weird. Girl, you also have millions of followers. Yeah, but I, I'm not the same. Listen, listen, people don't hate me like that. <laughs> And I don't have as many followers as they do, <laughs> so I've I've had my fair share of weirdos, but I'm I'm not the risk on that panel, you know. Um, I'm I'm not the the concern there, right? Um, <laughs> Salt and Emmy and Ashley, thank you for the subs. Um, yeah, I mean, I, again, I've had my fair share of weirdos, but um. I, I don't really anticipate that anybody would like come on. I never thought anybody would climb on stage during a panel of mine. I've had my moments of being scared that scary people would come to my meet and greets, which they didn't. I literally, I was like, <laughs> there's a couple uh, things that I was worried about happening during my meet and greet at TwitchCon. I was like rehearsing what I would do if I had to tell the like meet and greet handler uh, how to help me not interact with like a couple of specific indi individuals in ways that I was worried were gonna happen. <laughs> I've had some like kind of scary incidents with people at uh, conventions before where they've like, um, I don't know, like grabbed at me and stuff. Like when they, I don't know, I don't wanna get into it, but I just, I was like rehearsing how I would um, uh, tell the person how to help me if I saw them. <laughs> Cause I was like, I'm gonna have to stick up for myself if I see these people. So I'm like, I was like practicing what I would do. They didn't come to my meet and greet though. I did see them at the convention, but they didn't come to my meet and greet. So that was good. Meet and greet is like kind of an awkward thing for that because it's like, I don't know how to, f you can't like flee, you know? Um, the same way that you can flee when you're out and about just walking around. Um, when you're like at the meet and greet, you're like stuck there and there is a person there, but like, um, anyway, <laughs> yikes, you know? <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, um, did they understand if you did flee? Yeah, I don't know. It's just so embarrassing. Like the thought of like running away in front of like with the line all out there and like the awkward nature of like, <sighs> I don't know. 
It's like, oh yeah, I'll hug the person before you, but I won't hug you because you are creepy to me last year. You know, like, um, I just, I didn't really, I was worried about how to handle it. Um, cause I was like, <laughs> truthfully a little bit traumatized by it. <laughs> I've told this story a little bit before, but there was like an incident at the uh, party at TwitchCon in 20, not last year, but the year before, um, there was an incident at the party at TwitchCon. Um, and so I ended up like, <laughs> like walking home crying with Dan and then I got back to the hotel and there was like a bunch of people crowding around a streamer like totally blocking the elevators and so I couldn't get into the elevator because they were like blocking in all these people and I was like crying because I was so stressed it was really bad <laughs> really really bad um and then and then I did see that guy again this year at TwitchCon but um I managed to flee it was actually kind of funny I was with um like Dika was there and Dan and Maggie. And I think that they like picked up on the fact that it was him. <laughs> they were like, I'm gonna stand in front of you actually. And then I ran away, literally. <laughs> so embarrassing. Anyway, um, yeah, ex me, oh, it was me if not Maggie. Yeah, it was like a human wall, wasn't it? <laughs> Bubble. <laughs> anyway, people are scary. Um, big yikes, but it's okay. <laughs> that was nice of them. Um, but yeah, it's only happened to me a couple times with stuff like that. I know a lot of other streamers have like way bigger issues with like creepy men specifically at these conventions, but I haven't had too too much of it, only a little bit, which makes it like really stand out to me, I guess. I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, that guy can catch these hands. Okay, Dika. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, Kathy. Um, I don't understand why people are like that, but they are, so. Um, that's embarrassing for exactly one person and it's not you. Yeah, you're right, you're right. It just feels weird and awkward and scary. I can tour the house for you guys. I've seen some people asking. Um, this is what the outside looks like. When you walk in, there's like a little entryway. Um, this is gonna be the kitchen and living room space. It's kind of small, but in a good way. There's gonna be laundry here and then we have a garage. Uh, sorry about it being dark. It's night time. <laughs> um, there's gonna be like a little tiny half bath underneath the stairs, just a toilet and a sink. And then upstairs, we've got what will be my office. I put this Florida postcard on the wall. <laughs> um, there's gonna be like built-in bookshelves. We've got the bathroom, my bedroom, and my closet. And then this is going to be the guest room. And that's everything. Look at this, this postcard. I was laughing at this earlier if you weren't here. Um, wait, let me grab this. It has a couple of real life places on it. There's like cities. And then Florida. <laughs> cities and Florida. <laughs> There's only four and the other three are all cities and this one's just Florida, generic Florida. <laughs> What if it said Orlando? Wouldn't that be fun? But no. <laughs> As if Florida isn't huge, yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, people might, This the, the team who makes this game is from Europe, so it makes sense. Um, Florida is a destination in itself. <laughs> so. Where is Ohio? What the heck? Oh, you're so right. They should have had Ohio on here. You know, the, the most famous vacation, de vacation destinations, Florida, Paris, Ohio. <laughs> Everyone's favorite spots to visit. <laughs> okay, let me sell this too. That was like a little toy car or something. Okay, should we start trying to think about the Maybe I'll do the laundry room first, because this part makes me feel sad that I have to do it again, so. Maybe I shall start there. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Well, 
Angela, I mean, I get it. I know a lot of Europeans say that, but like you guys say that you're coming to America and you're traveling around America and like it is just one country, the US, but the states are so different and it's so far. Like when you're, when, when Americans say, oh, we're going to Europe on vacation and they're going to like two countries or three countries sometimes, um, it, it's easier to say, I'm just going to Europe because they're going to a couple places when they go all the way over there. It's like how you might come to a couple places in America if you come all the way over here. Um, and it's, you know, when you say, oh, I went to America on vacation, it's like, well, <laughs> okay, where? <laughs> like, it's, they're so, so vastly different um, across all the states. So it's, it's similar. Um, but anyway, Americans just mean they're going, uh, when they say they're going to Europe, oftentimes they go to more than one place when they go all that way. <sighs> um, take a train around a little bit and, some t and stuff like that when you come so far, you know? Um, okay, I think I'm kind of leaning towards, I really liked this tile before. I was using these in the little tiny bathroom before. Um, and people didn't like it, they were upset, but. <laughs> Did I use it on the floor or on the wall? I think it was on the floor. And then we had like a matching white tile or something. Have I been to any European country? Yeah, I've been to a few places in Europe. Um, my husband is from England, so uh, I have spent a decent chunk of time visiting him there, um, for starters. <laughs> um, okay, I might get like a bigger light first. Um. Wow, that's enormous in a bad way. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I haven't been to Amsterdam. No, um, I have not. It would be cool to go to Amsterdam, but I haven't made it out there yet. I don't know. Maybe I could use, oh, maybe like this one because it's small. You can't really put it on the ceiling because it's angled. Yikes. I guess I'll just get a cuter one. I was hoping to get one that was just big and pretty, but we're gonna have to go for simple like that. Okay. Um. I think, I guess I was looking at tile, wasn't I? Surface finishes. I was looking at this one because I was thinking about trying to get maybe like something along these lines on the wall in here. I don't know, thought it might be kind of cool. It might be a bit much, but it's only a tiny, tiny, tiny bathroom. So we can do some fun stuff, I feel like. Right? We just paint the walls white then. Surface finishes, paint. That'd be good. Okay. Oh, speaking of traveling, Dan, um, he, we sent his passport in to renew his passport. <laughs> Um, so he is at the moment passportless and in a foreign country. <laughs> Obviously he lives in the US now, but I think it's kind of like, it is kind of scary to be like without your passport and somewhere that isn't like your home home. <laughs> Obviously he's not a citizen of the US either. So I think that's kind of, it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, he doesn't have his passport right now. Um, okay. I think that's helpful. I like that. Um, do you want to change the style of this to have the base be like white? Maybe the shade could be white. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize you could change the light temperature. That's nice. Okay. Seems unfair they take it. Yeah, the whole process of renewing your passport is kind of weird, especially when you're renewing it from here. Like we had to mail it to England. 
Um, so, oh yeah, he still has his UK passport. You can only get a passport when you're a citizen of that country. So he has a UK passport, he's a UK citizen. He's got a US green card, like a permanent residence card. When he becomes a citizen of the US, like, you know, years on the line, then he can get a US passport. But right now he uh, has the UK passport because he's a UK citizen. So he's got to mail it over there and then um, wait until they get it back to us. Um, okay. Turn on. Oh, I didn't paint that back wall yet. Oops. Yeah, mailing a passport is really scary. <laughs> very, 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 very scary. Um, okay. How to send yours and your certificate. Oh, that is scary. Yeah, we've we've got done our fair share of sending important documents. All the visa stuff is like a whole thing. <laughs> It's a whole thing. Is he stuck there? He's stuck here until he gets the passport back, but I mean, we're not going anywhere. So I think it is just kind of scary though to not have the option because right now without the passport, like, you know, say all of a sudden he needed to fly home tomorrow for like some urgent emergency. It's like he doesn't have his passport, you know? Um, so it's like the concept of like, he's not home home, he's here and he doesn't have his passport. But we don't have any plans to go anywhere right now. So it's not a big deal, but. Um, it's just kind of scary. Oh, I'm missing some tile there too, aren't I? Um, okay. Um, UK passport turnaround's like two weeks. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it'll take too long, but we did have to mail it all the way there from here, and then he has to get it mailed back here, so, um, you know. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes them. I don't know what to expect, but it'll be fine. It's not a big deal. Um, just kind of interesting to think about, I guess. Okay, I think I have that toilet kind of like that, and then we had a very skinny sink. Um, almost like, I think I had done one of these. I don't know how high up to put it on the wall though. Let me put a sink cabinet, oh! The sink cabinet could maybe still work under here. I don't think that's too bad. Right? I feel like that's okay. I think it fits. We've got that nice oak color still. Huh. Okay. I want to get some toilet paper. Um, come here. I like that you can place it on there like that. I think that's so cool. <laughs> okay, I want a mirror as well. That's nice. Is that too low? Maybe it should be higher up. Then it's more eye level for me. Okay, maybe I'll put a small plant next to it as well. This is like basically exactly what we had before the game destroyed my stuff. <laughs> this is like essentially identical to what we had last time. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, maybe I'll put it over there. Okay. Make that one just white. And maybe I could put a trash can next to it. Oh, metal's cool. Like this. Okay, and I'm gonna put, I've, it's hard for me to put stuff in there, so maybe I just won't. I'll get some soap though. Maybe you could be, how about pink? Oh no. Details, base, okay. Oh, I messed up. I messed up big time. I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. This one needs to be black. Okay, I don't really like that, but I'm just gonna let it be. Oh my God, the soap is like too big to fit on the sink. Oh, just ignore it. It's very small, but in a fun way, I think, right? 
<laughs> Piggy Egg and Cat, thank you for the subs, everybody. I appreciate that. Good. Bathroom done. Um, I may do like a different vibe for all the bathrooms. This is gonna be the laundry room. Towel rack? Oh, I don't like the towel racks in this game, so I don't want to use one. Um, oh, they've got electrical outlets even. That's so cool. Okay. Let's pick a new floor tile. Perhaps one that is kind of... Maybe we could go for, like, a, a cool navy blue on the floor. Oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm gonna do white on the floors, I've decided. Oh, that's kind of bland, though. It is just the laundry room. It's a laundry room and, like, a... I guess, like, we could do, like, a marble tile. Oh, that's a bit fancy, isn't it? That's cool, though, right? I, I think I like that. And then maybe we could maybe get, like, a, a cooler... That's kind of giving mermaid. Oh, I don't like that one. We can maybe do something like this in like a sagey green color. Oh, I probably want to get the cut pattern bigger. That might be nice. Not the same height? I think so. Okay. That's pretty. It's not as vibrant as the bathroom is, but I think it's still nice. And then we can paint the walls above it. Oh, I kind of want like a, I almost want like a darker color. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Um, surface finishes, paint. Okay. Add some yellow in somewhere. We're gonna do yellow in the, um, in the guest bedroom or something. I mean, we could potentially do yellow tiles on these walls. I have yellow in my bathroom, my downstairs bathroom here in this house. And I like it. We painted the cabinet like a bright yellow. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if yellow tile is gonna be too much. Maybe black washer and dryer. Oh. Oh, I don't think I would ever pick that. Oh, that's actually a really nice color though. That blends in with the rest of the room quite nicely. Okay, so the alternative is maybe we turn this into like a... Yeah, I don't really like the color of that. You know, it's not a cute yellow. I don't think that's good. Yikes. A darker yellow? I, but I don't really like the shades of them. See, that's like... There's not a lot of like pretty yellows. The colors are... That one's maybe, but even then I don't really... I don't like that shade of yellow. I think that's a bad yellow. I want pastel. 
and the pastels are not working. We'll do yellow accents. If the yellow's a bad idea. I'm not gonna keep it. You think it's the grout? I mean, it might be a little bit to do with the grout, but even then, like, I don't really wanna use it, so. Um, then a navy, maybe? Do you guys actually hate this? Why does it want me to change it? I think it looks really good. I think it looks cool. I don't know. If we sit here trying to figure out the color of the walls this much, we are literally never gonna finish this build. We have to at some point call it and, and like start thinking about something else, you know? We must give ourselves that opportunity. Otherwise we're never gonna be done. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna get a shelf. This one's called Tilly. <laughs> um, okay, that one's not big enough. I want it to go all the way across the wall. Oh, you know what they do sometimes? I've seen them build this. They make a shelf. Imagine if we did that. I don't know. What if I built out like my own custom counter situation? Oh no, stop. Watch this. No cut pattern. We cover this with like marble counter. Okay. That one can be wood. Um, seems a bit thick. Yeah, I mean like, you can only do so much though. <laughs> only so much can be, can be handled with that. Um, it is really thick. It's probably not the best, but it's interesting. I don't know, I like the shelf. I don't know if I like the marble on the countertop. I'm not sure. Pretend it's a custom slab. Yeah, I mean, we kind of have to. <laughs> I don't know if I like this either. Wood countertop? I don't know. I, um, I don't know if I like it. It was good in theory. I think it is too thick. I got a little excited about it, but I think that one's too much as well. I don't know if I like this. We can make do with the shelf, but I don't know about the countertop. That makes me feel sad. It's a bit more simple this way. Okay, well, we put like some cleaning supplies on that and that'll be good. Is there like, I'm gonna get like a little hook. Imagine a couple of those there. That would be so useful. Hang up your stuff on that or something. Okay, are there cabinets? Yeah, there are cabinets. I, I think I'd rather do an open shelf than a cabinet. Um. But we, you know, we've got like hanging upper cabinets that you can put on the walls and we can decorate them however. It kind of depends if we can fit them though. Cause the skinny cabinet doesn't really, yeah, the cabinets aren't gonna work. Um, you love this tile? I kind of like the tile too. I wonder if you can fit, are there counters skinny enough to go next to that? Oh. Why are the washer and dryer so low? Um, let me look at the... Where's the cabinetry section? Cabinets. Standing cabinets. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not gonna fit, is it? Are there bases for the washer and dryers? I don't, I don't know. Home appliances, large appliances. That one is the same width, but it's taller. I don't know. Could I build a tiny wall in there? Is that the size of a wall? We could build a tiny wall in there. And that might be onto something. We could just paint it like completely white. Okay. Cause we could get like this one. No cuts, all white. Try and make it blend into the washer dryer. I need to move this so I can put it on the other side. <laughs> um, maybe in the middle? I don't really care about it being in the middle. I'm okay with it being off to the side because we can use it as like decoration. But if you guys are like really, you guys really care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't believe how much time I'm spending on this stupid laundry room. <sighs> it's really not worth it. It's really, really, really not worth it. Um, oops. Stop. I don't know how tall it's supposed to be. Um, okay, that's fine. You ask our opinion though? Yeah, but I meant just generally about the wall. You guys, that's fine. <laughs> I, I personally kind of like when things are off center a little bit, because I was going to try and do like a thing on the side. If you hate it that much, we can change it. It's okay. You're allowed to have an opinion. <laughs> it just makes me feel anxious when I look at chat and there's like 30 people saying, this is horrible, change it. <laughs> I don't think that looks good. I think it's better when it's off to the side. Honest, because I, I think it's like very obvious that it's like a weird wall. So... I don't know. I think when we put it on one side, we can try and make it- If we do it on one side, we could try and have it be like- Maybe we could do it with wood or something, so people stop yelling about it being... Um... Different or whatever. Oh no, I messed up. Too much. There we go. I think it looks weird in, in the middle of them. Um, thinking of going for the same green tiles. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to make it look like it's a countertop or like look like it's a cabinet of some sort. That's kind of what I'm going for is trying to make it look like it's got storage in it or something. Obviously it doesn't, but. I feel like that's better. They fit together nicer when they're next to each other. When they're like, with the wall in between, it looks weird. Could I add a handle to it? Um, we can maybe put a hook on it. If I put a hook here, do you think I could hang like... Um, stop. Can I hang a towel there on the hook? Does it let you do that or no? I want a towel hook. How do you- what do you hang this on? Um... I don't know. How to use that. Put your cursor on the hooks? I did though, didn't I? Oh, I didn't do it well enough. Okay. I didn't put it on the hook. I was trying to hang it lower. I see now. Okay. There, oh, there we go. Okay. That's interesting. Right? Hmm. 
dark color on the towel, maybe. I think that seems good. I think that seems like you might actually find that in here too. Okay, that's probably the best that we can do. <laughs> uh, we can pretend that it's a cabinet, even if it's not actually. <laughs> We shall pretend that it's a functional detergent. I mean, cabinet. <laughs> Sorry, I was grabbing the detergent and I called it detergent. Um, this is toilet detergent, but I, um, I'm kind of thinking that it might be cool if we go through and just get like a bunch of generic cleaning supplies. Um, what are they under? Accessories bathroom products, but we can go through and just put a bunch of like stuff like this window cleaner um, Dish soap Maybe they keep like all their extra Supplies up here, you know You can change the color of it too so we can make it look like it's a different kind of cleaner Okay I don't know, just get some nice stuff. Um, you keep window mold cleaning the laundry room? Yeah, I keep all my cleaning supplies with the laundry cabinets because there's space in there for them. Um, this is what I do. <laughs> I just, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm clarifying to chat in case they're gonna be like, that's shampoo. Uh, well, yeah, but sometimes it's fine to just put it all in here. Um, maybe we could get like a little, I don't know, like a little basket of some sort that we could put like extra toilet paper in. I don't really know. A stackable shelf. Well, that's cool. Sorry, didn't mean to yawn. Where else do you put the extras exactly? Um, this is the best place to put it. I think it's under decorations. Um. Oh, I've been using this box. She is good for toilet paper. It fits well in there. Oh my God, I placed that horribly. Okay, some extras. Maybe I get a little plant too. Let me see about a little tiny pot. My favorite pots are these ones. I think they're so cute. Well, that's quite big. Maybe I'll put that on the counter. Maybe this could come in yellow. That might be good. Okay, plant. That's nice, it's colorful, it's cute. Are there like, clothes anywhere? I don't really know. What kind of box are you? Oh, like a literal cardboard box. Okay. I'm thinking about trying to get... If there's something like this that's like long and skinny... I guess we could just put something small there. I don't know what it would be, but... Oh. Do you want to be a light color too? I don't know. That seems good. Oh, we could do a rug. I'm okay with that too. Maybe like a little one centered in the room. Ironing board. I don't know if there is, we have like a hamper or like a laundry basket. I don't know if we have irons. Well, that's a nice one. Okay. Oh, you can even open it. Wow, and it clips. Okay. Maybe scoot it forward a bit so it doesn't clip. Oh, who's gonna open it though, really? Not us. Okay, you can just make it a lighter color because that's kind of distracting. Maybe we could get a picture on the wall above this then. 
something like, wow, okay, there's so many things. I'll change the color of the rug too, don't worry, I haven't finished it yet. Um. Change you to like, custom picture. Oh, has to load them all. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, we should put that out here. That could be like above the sofa or something. That's really nice. Okay. Duplicate that. We'll get a different one. Oh, I'm lost. Um, oh no, stop, 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 stop. Oh, I find this very stressful. The way that the art works is kind of cool though. That kind of... She kind of looks like me. <laughs> wait. wait. <laughs> Why does it... <laughs> it kind of looks like me. Okay. Sure. Can I make it smaller or can it just have to be that big? Oh, it can be smaller. Okay, good. That's good. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's me. I don't know. I wasn't expecting that. Um, maybe do like this color on the rug. Okay. We have some hooks there. Should I get more hooks? Strange place for a photo of a friend. I don't really think so. You probably enter the house through this garage every day. I don't think it's weird to have photos of your friends in the laundry room. Any robes? Oh, I don't know. Maybe like an actual... I guess we already have a little hand towel. I was thinking like a towel bar. But... I don't know. I guess I can just do some more hooks. Hooks are useful. You can hang up your keys or something on there. Oh, what about the, do they have the live, laugh, love thing? That's pizza. I mean, pie, not <laughs> pizza. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, I just got a text from my dad that uh, Cappy is out of surgery. He had to get, um, I'm sorry, I've been very stressed today about this. So <laughs> sorry to bring it up again, but my parents, uh, my family's dog, Captain, um, he had to get his toe amputated today because he had a cancerous toe. Um, so now he is toe-less. <laughs> he's got one less toe, uh, but he's out of surgery. They have to wait a while till he can be picked up still, but um, he's out of the surgery, so. <laughs> That's good. That happened to your parents' dog too? Your parents' dog also had a cancer toe? Oh, no way. <laughs> a small world. But anyway, he's got one less toe, so. <sighs> Poor little guy. Um, it's for the best. Now he's gonna. I think he'll be all right. To one toe shouldn't be the biggest of deals. And um, now he's got no cancer toe. So that's a big win. <laughs> That's also uh, fun. Okay, I'm looking for like wall decor before I got too distracted there. Um, wall decor. I wanna get like, oh, they've got keys. I was thinking something like this. I probably personally would not pick this home sign. <laughs> um. It wouldn't really be my choice. Maybe I'll use the mountains. I'll put it there and then I'll get my keys on it. Oh, it hangs just on the wall, I see. Oh, cool! Oh my god. Can I hang like a shirt on that? That's actually really cool. I wish The Sims had this. Oh. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Wait, that's so cool. Wait, that's so cool. <laughs> okay. I love that. Um, what other like little home accessories, office supplies, kitchen, bathroom products, other. Oh, they've got actually a bunch of jackets. Maybe I'll hang one here. Or maybe I'll put one like, I guess you can't hang on that. I'll put it here though. That's actually really cool. Broom dustpan. I don't know if they have that stuff. I don't think we have a lot of cleaning supplies. Unfortunately. I think that's really good though. I think this will be fine. I'm worried about putting too much else because it won't be, not, might not be too walkable if we fill it up too much more than that. I don't think there are bags either. There's bagels. That's a bagel? No bag. Baguette? <laughs> hmm. I don't think they have a purse. Yeah, no, they got a plunger. I did think about putting this plunger in the... in the cabinet. Maybe that's a bagel in Florida? Oh, I don't know. Whoa, Hope! Why are you dragging me down? Oh, I'm from New York. I know about bagels. <laughs> Florida doesn't have bagel problems. Where's the team? Where are they from? The team that makes this game? I know they're from somewhere in Europe. I don't remember what country they're from. Does anybody know? Blame them. Florida has every problem. Okay, fine. <laughs> They're in Poland. Maybe that's why they don't know about bagels. A Poland is not exactly known for its bagels. So. It's okay. <laughs> don't be mean to Florida. It's rude. You can be mean to Florida. Anyway, <laughs> hot take bagels are just stale bread. Oh, you're gonna hurt some feelings. You're gonna hurt some feelings. Uh oh. You, the people, they're gonna be real mad at you for that one. Bagels are not just stale bread. You're gonna cause a problem. You're gonna cause a problem. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's cool. It doesn't really fit in here though. Maybe I could leave that in the. We could get some like shelves for some storage like this in the garage. That might be good. I won't even acknowledge that as a real thing that was said. <laughs> Listen, maybe you've never had a good bagel from like a serious bagel maker. You know? Bagels are popular in Poland. Well, there you go. I don't know much about Poland's um, bagel scene. So. Um, but... <laughs> All we're trying to say is, I have never seen a bagel like this. I wouldn't call that a bagel. It's not what I'm familiar with. That's how this has gotten um, brought up. But maybe Polish bagels look like this and that's why. Um, it's not what I'm used to. <laughs> but <laughs> It's interesting. They have a lot of food in this game. More than you would expect considering it's like a house builder. But there's a lot of food. <laughs> it's kind of fun. They got like a burger, they have a donut, cucumber, corn. They've got produce and everything. Um, it's kind of fun. Ice cream? They have ice cream cones? I haven't seen those yet. Yeah, the food's in the accessories category. <laughs> I like how they have a slice of pie. You could like place a table. Oh, that's a good idea, Hope. When we do the dining table, which is gonna have to be small, but when we get the dining table, we should like actually like set the table. <laughs> this is an accent table, so ignore this, but imagine if we like set the table at the dining table <laughs> and I got like, oh, that's a whole pizza. I wanted more of a slice. Imagine this. I like it. I think that'll be kind of fun. 
We should definitely do that. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm prepared for. We'll set it up. That'll have to be next stream, probably, because after all of this today, we've barely done anything. <laughs> Maybe a fruit bowl? Oh, we learned our lesson about the fruit bowl concept. You think it would work? No, hold on. Maybe I'll get, like, um, apple. You can't really put multiple fruits in the bowl. So it seems like a good idea, the fruit bowl, but you can't really like do it. It's like you can only have one fruit in the bowl. You need to go back to the store, you're running low on groceries. So. Anyway, sad. <laughs> BB dot move objects on, yeah. That's what we need. I'm gonna get rid of all this so we can actually have some space in the house to work with. I feel really good about the color scheme in here though. It's looking nice. The house looks pretty from the outside. It's a lot cleaner. I like the color of the walls outside a lot. It works on sandbox mode. Oh, that makes sense to me. You know, I haven't really, um... Oh my God. I haven't touched sandbox mode at all yet. No, caps lock still, sorry. I haven't touched sandbox mode at all. I don't even know what it's like. Here you can create jobs and houses and share them with your friends. Oh, to change the environment or make your house a job, take a look at property settings found on your tab. Okay. Oh dear God. Hope you saved. I did save. You think I just went to sandbox mode and didn't save first? <laughs> I did save. Um, okay, whoa. Build walls. Oh, that's nice. Oh my God. Oh, we need to do a whole stream doing this. Land holes. Oh, they're not kidding. What? Oh, that's absolutely horrendous. The terrain manipulation. Okay, next week, when we play, oh, that really is a hole. When we play house slipper next week, let's do sandbox mode and try and build a house. And then if it's cool, I'll make a YouTube video on it. Yeah, I don't know why it, the terrain is so like, I'm very impressed by the, oh my God, I keep pressing the wrong thing. I'm very impressed by the wall tool. It's nice that it's fast like that. What if it's not cool? Well then we'll do something else. Oh. Oh, interesting. So we could get like, well, it's a little bit easier to do it that way. How do you get the, oh, you can use regular stuff too, okay. Can you bird's eye view? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. You can fly. Oh, okay, how do you unfly? Oh, sorry. Oh, well that's good. That makes things easier. Well, if only you could do that in regular mode, there should be like a flying tool unlock. Huh, oh, it's C to go down, okay. Space to go up. Oh, we need to do a whole stream on this. I wanted to wait until I was like more familiar with the game before I went out and tried to do sandbox mode. So I wanted to do like a few more streams first, but um, now we're ready. 
<laughs> I think next week on Wednesday, we could definitely play the sandbox and build like a whole house. We'll have to think about what we want to build though, because it's going to take a really long time. So we should aim for really small just because it's so, you know, the first person and the, and everything is really like kind of scary, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to try. All right. Blue Suburban. <laughs> no, we should do like a cottage or so. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. I'm not really sure yet. Um, but it'll be fun. Fairy Cottage. Oh, no. Sims, you walk into the hole. Okay, should I try to like build a bigger hole and then walk into it? Is that good? Oh, you weren't kidding. Oh! I'm under the ground. Help! 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 Okay. Bye! <laughs> oh. Oh no, not again. Oh my god, I actually, this is stressful. How do you undo the hole? Huh? I shouldn't do that. Edit grass. Oh, no, bad. Stains and dirt. Whoa! How come you have so many options? I'm like really impressed by that. Okay. Um, unpacking quests? How do you do it? I'm overwhelmed. I don't know. I'm not doing that anymore. Trash generator. Oh. How do you do it? I'm trying to amount speed random style. Oh, okay, I've got stuff off. Tile shards, cables, soda cans. Whoa. I'm littering. That is really interesting. Yeah, I opened a void. Watch. <laughs> ah! Help! Help! Okay, sorry. Well, <laughs> we have learned a lot here on this day. <laughs> I'm very intrigued by this. Okay, I can't stay on stream too much longer. Listen to this, you guys. In a couple hours, I'm going to meet with a wedding planner. So I feel like I need to study or something before I go. So I can't stay on for very long. <laughs> I'm meeting her in person. I don't know, but that's my plan for later today. So I have to go. Cause I gotta like, I gotta get ready. <laughs> but <laughs> Pinterest bestie, right? I need to like, I don't know. I'm nervous about what to expect. I don't know. Um, I've talked to her on the phone, but we're meeting in person for the first time. So it'll be fine, but. Um, kind of exciting. I'll let you know how it goes. We're beginning. Get that Pinterest going. I do have, I do have a Pinterest board. Um, I don't know. Um, yes, let us know. Oh, I t hope I'm going to let you know, of course. <laughs> You'll get some like instant updates. I'll tell the rest of you tomorrow, probably. Um, but it'll be fun. So <laughs> Z to undo. Oh, that's good to know. Cause the other game doesn't have, the other version doesn't have undo. So, um, yeah, Dan's coming too. Yeah, I'm not going alone. Let's not be silly. <laughs> All right, we gotta be, we gotta be serious about this. I can't be going by myself. <laughs> no, Dan's excited about it too. So when we had, when we had the first meeting with her on the phone, Dan, we like called her at the same time. Like me and Dan were there like on speakerphone and she was like, oh, Dan's here. Usually I don't talk to the men <laughs> in the call. And I was like, oh man, 
<laughs> Yikes. <laughs> but apparently sometimes they don't come. I found that really surprising. I can't imagine, like, Dan's excited about it too. Like, um, that makes me feel kind of sad. But I guess it was also, it was just like an introductory meeting. Um, like, to like, talk about like, oh, here's how it works. Here's what the pricing looks like. So maybe they don't always both come to that and they like, are more involved later. But a lot of times, you know, um, a lot of times people aren't so heavily involved. <laughs> I can't imagine Dan not coming. He would he's like he cares about it too, so I don't know. Um and you would think that like when you're when you're like talking to a person like a planner, like you you would think you both want to meet them. I can imagine like with certain things, maybe like one thing isn't as important to someone to both of you as another, so maybe like only one person goes to like one thing, but with a lot of it, like you both want to be there. I don't know. Your husband came for everything, no one seemed surprised. Yeah, I mean, it was just the, the call with the planner where she was surprised on the first call, but I don't know. Um, we, like, Dan came with me to tour the venues. My mom and sister came too. It was a group outing. <laughs> it was a group thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of stereotypical, but anyway, whatever. Um, she seems nice, so. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm I'm kind of like I said. I was kind of scared about it, so <laughs> we'll see. I I am I, I wanted to hire a person who knows more than I do because the thought of like like scheduling everything and like calling all these vendors is very overwhelming to me. In a way that I would rather just not do it. <laughs> so. Um, your mom and sister and in-laws came with you, really? Oh, that's a whole group outing, yeah. Um, my mom and sister, I think, are more excited about planning the wedding than I am. And I'm excited about it, but my sister specifically, my sister, she, this is like the best thing that's ever happened to her. But she's like only, she like keeps being like, what colors are we gonna do? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like doing spreadsheets, organizing like people's addresses to send out invites for, you know? So like, she gets to think about that part, which is maybe more fun. <laughs> but <laughs> I've been like trying to get everybody's contact info, which is not as fun. Having to reach out to everybody and ask for addresses is not as fun, but we've got it all. My mom, thankfully, was able to get most of like extended family and my, like Dan's mom got most of their extended family, so. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> It'll be the same for your older sister. Yeah, I get it. It's, it is fun. I, I understand why Shanna is so excited. Um, but <sighs> it's kind of scary when you start thinking about it. You didn't invite the whole family on your side. Yeah, I don't have that big of an extended family. Um, I only have cousins on my dad's side. Um, so we don't, there's not that many of us, but but I said dance mom. Oh, we got dance moms um, figuring out addresses for us. No, Dan, Dan's mom, if you will. Um, she was able to like help get addresses for their family. <laughs> Cause you know how moms oftentimes have a lot of this stuff already. My, some of my friends were joking. This is funny by the way, it's sad, but it's funny. They were joking about how you can like ask grandma for addresses. Listen to this, my grandma's address book, her like long standing book of all of her things washed away in the hurricane last year. <laughs> so you can't ask grandma for addresses anymore. That one got, when her, when her house flooded in the hurricane last year, it's gone. <laughs> she didn't have any anymore. She doesn't have them anymore. She's been starting to like, we've been giving them back to her. Like she has them all again, but she like has kind of, she's kind of frazzled. Like she doesn't really, she keeps like putting it on scraps of paper. She doesn't have, it's not the same anymore. Her, now that her original book is gone, she's like, <laughs> it is kind of sad. It is actually really sad. The whole, that was probably like one of the, that and the family photos were like the biggest loss of the, the storm. Obviously it's good that she's okay and stuff. Um, but it's quite sad that like all of that is just, you know, um, but get her a new book. I mean, she has one. She's just not really like, she, she's always been a uh, write things down on scraps of paper and she uses her dining table like a desk and she's got just scraps of paper everywhere. So even though she has a book, she'll still like go for the scraps of paper first. And who knows where those are? 
you know? <laughs> and it's not the same now that she doesn't have the original one, you know? She also, this is quite morbid as well, because she would sit there, I like when I would go to her house, she was always in that address book. And she'd be sitting there sometimes, and I've caught her on multiple occasions going through, crossing stuff out. And I'd be like, hey, what are you doing? She's like, oh, dead. Dead. <laughs> but she would go through and cross out names in her address book. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're going as a two? Really? I can't, I just, I like actually can't believe it when she does it. She's very like practical about it. Like to her, it's not sad. But to me, it's like, oh my god. You just. I mean, I guess also she doesn't, I mean, like, part of it is that you don't want to forget. Like, you want to remember, like, oh, that person died, you know? So you don't want to, like, forget and, like, try and, like, reach out to them or something. So at least she knows. You know, you're, like, keeping notes on it or whatever. But you have to be kind of more when you get older. Um, but <laughs> it's, like, kind of shocking when you see them doing that. <laughs> anyway, um... It is really sad, though. The The whole situation is really sad. But what's she supposed to do? Leave them there? I don't know. I mean, I guess. Like, but yeah, when you get older, I guess you get more casual about that sort of thing because you've, you know, been exposed to it so much longer. Um, but <laughs> yikes. <laughs> okay, well, we probably should leave <laughs> before we keep talking about all this morbid stuff. We should probably, uh, I'm not gonna save that. Whatever we just did, I don't need to save that. That's not necessary to keep. <laughs> Put a little skull next to their name. That's horrible. You know what that's like? That's like my baby challenge spreadsheet. <laughs> you do it like this. With the skulls. <laughs> that, that is tragic. <laughs> These, these, I've got a, a key and everything. It's pretty good. Um, the knife means neighborhood stories. Uh, the skull means dead from other reasons. And this, uh, this little hourglass means died from old age. So, you had that ready? <laughs> yeah, I've got a command for it in chat, so it's easy for me to pull up. Um, the knife means they got got, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I say other reasons, um, it may or may not be related to to me and my fault. Don't worry about it though, okay? <laughs> don't don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> okay, let me go see who's live. We can find somebody to raid. Um, like I was saying, uh, tomorrow we are gonna be able to. Oh my god. Dan just said to me, um, he just had a, he had to call the, his student loan company. It took 40 minutes on the phone. I don't even want to think about the charges of that. I don't, I, oh my God. <laughs> the international call. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. Oh no. Okay. Yikes. Wow. All right. That's fine. <laughs> The student loans and having moved internationally, by the way, is very chaotic. Um, it really complicates things. <laughs> That's rough. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm thinking um, there's a streamer called Lucy who does a lot of Sims building um, that I kind of want to go over and maybe say hi to and raid. It looks like they're building like a horse ranch kind of vibe. Um, so I think we maybe want to go over there and say hi. Um, I'm into it. Let's do it. Okay, so tomorrow we're playing Not So Berry on stream, and then this weekend um, we're gonna try to, um, what's it called? Oh, build the Not So Berry house. I, like, so got distracted. I'm thinking about the, <laughs> the student loan thing still. Oh, dear God. Anyway, um, <laughs> have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will see you tomorrow. All right? All right. Bye!